Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. It's FA Cup semi-final day. It's Manchester United against Brighton. Uh, uh, Brighton, I think that's what they're called now. They used to be called Brighton and Hove Albion. I don't think they're called that now, but I tell you what, they're a fantastic side and this is going to be a fantastic game for Manchester United. It's a strong side from Manchester United and we've got a strong lineup. We're sponsored by Manscaped. Trim the grass to make the yard look bigger. Fantastic new one I've got been sent out as well. Loving that. Uh, you can get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the Code United stand. Links in the description as well. But we'll come back to Manscaped in a moment because we're going to be talking this Manchester United lineup, which uh, has now come out for Manchester United. And uh, you should be able to see it on the screen. I don't know. Sometimes with the FA Cup, it can be a little bit slow. It is going to be a little bit slow. So I will talk to you verbally. Uh, just as uh, I've just come over from That's Football. Welcome over if you're here. Make sure you subscribe. Um, Manchester United, uh, obviously in a top four race as well as a um, a race for uh, the FA Cup. Uh, Newcastle 6-1 up against Spurs with 20 minutes to go here. Um, looking like a two-horse race for third and fourth for Manchester United and Newcastle at the moment. But that could change. We'll keep you an eye. We've got it on the screen. We'll certainly keep you updated on that. But let's hit the team news here because Manchester United kick off in less than an hour's time against Brighton in this huge game. We've got to bounce back after what was a dreadful performance on Thursday night and an exit from the Europa League that really was disappointing. But we can't compound that by missing out on our final chance of silverware for the season. Obviously, we've already got it with the Carabao Cup. But we'd like to win the FA Cup as well. So the team for Manchester United is David De Gea in goal, Aaron wan at right back, Victor Lindelof and Luke Shaw, the centre-back pairing we want to see anyway in the absence of Varane and Martinez. They get their chance in a big game. Delo stays at left back. Casemiro, Eriksen and Bruno never lost the game when they played together. They're in the midfield and then really boosted in the front three. It's Anthony Martial spearheading the attack with Marcus Rashford off the left and Anthony off the right. I tell you what, if we had wan sorry, if we had uh, Varane and Martinez, we'd be picking our strongest team. How many times have we done that this season? That's definitely our strongest front three on paper. Um, it's definitely our strongest midfield on paper. Of course, we've got those centre-back issues, but um, Manchester United looking strong as they probably could look for this game. Um, Subs, Butland is on the bench. Malassi is on the bench. Brandon Williams comes back in. Fred, Palistri, Sabitza, Alanga, Sancho and Veghorst. So, look, the bench ain't great. Malassi is decent. Fred can do a job. Sabitza can do a job. Palistri we like. Sancho, Veghorst, Alanga. It's a bit of a mixed bag with those three, isn't it? So, um, we don't want to be picking up any injuries. Um, and we, you know, we, we're going to be we're going to be facing a really really tough game today. I don't think I don't think there's any any doubts about that. So uh, the bench is a little bit weak for us. But uh, in relation to the Brighton team, let me just tell you they're lining up like this. Uh, we knew that Evan Ferguson wouldn't be involved. Sanchez in goal, Webster, Dunk, March, McAllister, Gross, Welbeck, Enciso, Matoma, Casido, and Estebanan. What a team! I mean, normally you'd look at that and go, what, whatever. But the way that they play football, um, it's going to be a real, real, real test for us. And I'm, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm telling you now, this is going to be cracking. Really, really good. Can't wait to see it. Manchester United FA Cup semi final at Wembley with, um, with um, a Brighton side that's probably playing their biggest game in quite some time. Um, they're going to be up for it. They've had a week off as well. So as I said this morning on the morning show, some people have them down as favourites to win this. I don't think anybody's underestimating them, which is a good thing. We know how difficult it's going to be. I think Matoma against wan is going to be massively intriguing as well. Um, Henry says you're going to be crying later, Mark. Well, look, I won't be happy if we go out, but I'm not sat here and I don't think any United fan... I mean, people almost... You can lose a game of football. You know, none, none of us, none of us, none of us United fans think that Man United are the finished article here. Um, I don't think there's any Man United fans that absolutely, absolutely demand and expect us to beat Brighton as well. We know we're on a journey, and we know how good Brighton are. If we lose later, I won't be very happy. Of course, I won't. But it won't be a shock. It won't be a surprise. You know, it's not going to be like losing seven nil to Brighton uh, to, to Liverpool unless we get beat by a lot. Um, Brighton winning this game won't surprise anybody. They're a good team, but. We've got to bounce back, and I don't want us to go out because I think there's, there's so much more we can achieve this season. Hard game today. Let's get the win today up the United Stand, says Mr. Tony. Thank you very much for that. Um, 
Maguire is suspended. He's not been dropped. Yeah, Maguire's not on the bench and he's not in the starting lineup because he's suspended. That's 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 the fact. Um, Keevan says, I trust wan to pocket Matoma today. And uh, it's about playing well, not about the losing, says Jordan. Look, we could play really, really well and lose in extra time, you know, and in which case, I just think we need to see a better Manchester United performance. And I don't think it's, uh, you know, rocket science to say that we'll be a better team with Bruno Fernandes in the team and we'll be a better team with Harry Maguire not in the team. I think that, you know, in fairness to Harry, it's just not working out very well, is it? And the way that we play with him, um, it just doesn't work. But the bigger thing for me is not having Bruno Fernandes um, on Thursday was a big problem. He, you know, he sort of sets the tone in the team. And uh, I think that Anthony Martial being fit is really, really, really important as well. So, look, we know we're going to have to be at our best. We know that. Um, and hopefully that's that's what we're going to see. But um, I don't take Brighton lightly and I don't think anybody would. Um, let's have a look at the Super Chats. Um, last time against them, we had no Casemiro or Anthony, says Ronnie. And great lineup, so I'm pumped for this game. Let's go, says Brian. I mean, what you're going to get from Brighton is you're going to get a team that's going to want, you know, is very confident. that they, they, They'll stick to the way that they want to play football. They're not a, they're a very consistent team. I watched them last week against Chelsea deliberately because I wanted to see what they were like, um, you know, firsthand across 90 minutes because I hadn't watched them for a few weeks. And, uh, they are what they always are this season. They're just a very well-drilled, organised, confident team who are completely and utterly uh, in tune with what their manager wants and, and, and each other wants. Uh, they're a system team. Um, they're, they're an easy on the eye team. They create chances. And I think, look, I hope that it's a little bit like Newcastle in the Carabao Cup final, that the, that the Wembley experience maybe, you know, saps them a little bit. But... I'm not so sure that that will happen. Newcastle just on the attack here. They could make it seven into Gordon. And it's a good save by Forster. Um, we should be okay without Maguire, says Mike. Well, I think it's a big opportunity. Can't wait for Casido to bully Casemiro, says N. I think it's a big opportunity for United because um, if this works with Lindelof and Shaw, I think it's what we should do for the rest of the season. And there's a big, big difference between playing Maguire and Lindelof than there is if you can play Shaw and Lindelof and it works. Um, I'm not saying that Maguire doesn't walk straight back into the team against Spurs, but I think, I, you know, I'd really like to see that. Uh, Drubin, I don't know what happens, what's happening with your ears, but we've been talking about the team lose for the last 10 minutes. Um, the team is De Gea, wan Lindelof, Shaw, Delo, Casemiro, Eriksen, Bruno, Rashford, Martial and Anthony, and I've said it about five times in the last seven minutes. I don't know what your internet's doing. I don't know what your ears are doing, but it is slow, mate. Really slow. We're literally going through the team news talking about it now. Um, so no Harry Maguire for Manchester United. Um, don't forget, we're sponsored by Manscaped. Trim the grass to make the yard look bigger. I've just had a brand new weed whacker and lawnmower 4.0. This is for your nose. This is for your bits down there. Trim the grass to make the yard look bigger. Fantastic products delivered to your door. 20% off free worldwide shipping. I've actually upgraded my models and they are different to the ones I had before. Really, they feel even better in the hands. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, use the code United Stones. You can scan the QR code or go through the link in the description. Trim the grass to make the yard look bigger. Big shout out to Manscaped. Um, I can't put it up on the screen for you at the moment because this happens with the FA Cup. When it's the Premier League, the stats come through on the hour before. When it's the FA Cup, it seems to take a while to come through. I don't know why, but um, we'll certainly get that. Varane is not on the bench, Drew. You'll get blocked for shit like that. This is a big game for Manchester United. We don't want dickheads in the chat. And the, you will be blocked by the moderators. It's a big game um, and we respect Brighton. But uh, look, let's, let's, let's get realistic here. Did you see Saturday Social yesterday? It says Farah, I don't watch it anymore. Um, been asked to go on it so many times. I don't go on it and I don't want to watch it because I think the content has become a little bit silly, really, uh, in relation to silly conversations like who's the biggest flop of the season and stuff like that. Donny and Ganacho on the bench, according to Foot. How about we take revenge for the beating we got, says Enjoy Writing. Well, it seems a long time ago now. Long time ago now that we saw... Uh... I'll tell you what, if Casemiro does that Joel Linton tackle, that's a red card, by the way. Watch. 
I wasn't as bad actually. Um, let me just see if I can. I'm trying to, to, to get the sorted here. So, what are your thoughts on the team? Are you happy with it? Let me know in the chat. Are you happy with that team? Um, okay, I'm still not out. I think it. I think it'll be out in about 15 minutes. Don't know why it won't do that. Sometimes happens with the FA Cup. Right. Um, let me come back to the chat. Uh, six one to Newcastle. Yeah, I've got it on at the moment. What a what a journey for Spurs there. Not a very good one. We've got Spurs on Thursday. They subbed their goalkeeper at half time. Um. It's one of our best teams, says Friendly. Very happy, says Adam Edwards. Uh, good team, says Sam Bradley. Uh, it's on BBC One Wales, says Roblox. Okay. Mark, as long as Maguire is not starting, I think we're all happy. Well, I think we've got a good team out today, but I think it'll be a tough game against Brighton. I do. Um, Defence will be more stable, says B. Yakov. There's a lot of people that need to respond today, though, isn't there? You know, David De Gea's got to have a good game. Lindelof and Luke Shaw have got to work well in tandem. De Lowe and wan have got to do well at full-back because um, Brighton are very good down the flanks. Midfield, it's going to be huge. McAllister, Casido and Gross, very, very good midfield. Games are won and lost in the midfield. This is where Brighton are very, very, very impactive. Um, and then the front three, Martial, um, had an unbelievable amount of flack over the weekend for absolutely no reason in this country um on in the mainstream media and um you know he's uh it's there for him to sit a few people down today and i hope he can uh ruben says spurs is being put in a hearse okay <laughs> welcome to the members club jk4 edits thank you very much for joining the members club and uh, getting involved with the channel um McAllister, uh, Tommy's injured. He's not on the bench. Uh, the bench isn't that strong. You've got Sancho, Veghorst, Alanga, Pelistri, Fred, uh, Sabitza, Brandon Williams, Malassia, and Butland. Um, score prediction. I'm going 2-0, Man United. Um, look, I can't predict how this is going to go. I couldn't predict how it was going to go on Thursday. Uh, nobody predicted that, I don't think. 3-0 to Sevilla. Um, so, look, I'm not going to pretend that I'm confident how this is going to go. My feeling is we will we, we win 2-0. I even think that Brighton might dominate possession, but we'll be more clinical. I've got a feeling it might be a little bit like Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. Newcastle in the Carabao Cup final were arguably better than us, but we were just very clinical and we defended well. And I think that me that might be the case today. Having said that, there's not been many times this season. I mean, I don't know if it's happened five times. Have we started with Martial and Rashford in the starting lineup this season more than five games? And I always feel that Martial and Rashford in the same team have a chemistry. So you've got a good front three. You've got a strong midfield three. And we've got to use it. And we've got to be brave. You know, I think Lindelof and Shaw have got to push up. Wan Bissaka and Delo have got to push up, and we've got to utilise our, our strong front six. Um, again, look, we're in that same old conversation of we need to bounce back. You know, we've got more bounce than a bloody ping pong ball, haven't we? But we are in that bounce back category again, and we certainly can do it. I just, I'm just fed up as of, ha of his having to do it. But I think we've got a strong front six. After the mistakes made on Thursday, Butland should be starting, says Alpha. You are talking absolute ass, mate. I don't think I don't think you've seen Butland play a game because, to be honest, he hardly ever has played a game because he doesn't even start for Crystal Palace. Butland over Davidea, you should go and watch some another sport, mate. You're talking absolute shite, to be honest. James, welcome to the Members Club. Uh, look, I'm all about opinion. We were talking about this on That's Football. I'm all about opinion, but it doesn't mean a stupid opinion can't be called out. Like, if we had Dean Henderson on the bench, I could understand people saying Henderson should start. We've got Butland on the bench. He ain't nowhere near. That's like saying, let's drop, um, let's stop, let's drop Wan Bissaka and play Brandon Williams. It's, it's, it's that sort of a drop off. It, it just doesn't make any sense. I think Fred should have started unless we are planning to keep possession. Ericsson for Fred would have been better. Look, HKN, we've mentioned it the last few shows. Welcome to the Members Club, Nathaniel. We've mentioned it the last, the last uh, few shows. I don't know what's going on with Fred. He hasn't started a game since before the international break. He used to start quite regularly. I don't know what I don't know what's happened with Fred. Is he carrying an injury? Is he out of favour? Is he fell out? I don't know. I don't know. 
Will he not sign a contract? I don't know. I feel an Anthony masterclass incoming. Look, Joel, um, thanks, Joel. It, with with Anthony, sorry, with, with Fred, it could be as simple as he's not he won't sign a contract. I don't know. Or we're not giving him a contract, but he's certainly not getting the game time he used to. It'll be interesting if he starts against Spurs on Thursday, considering his best game game this season was against Spurs in the league at Old Trafford. Uh, glory, glory, Man United says Etienne. Let's just be real and respect Brighton's outscored us and equally defended number of goals in the EPL. They are decent top ten team. We need to score first. Let's go. Thank you very much, Etienne. Appreciate that. And um, De Gea will be fine today. Maguire isn't in the lineup. De Gea has no faith in Maguire and plays scared when Harry plays. Says Chris. Well, I would defend Maguire on that and have a pop at David De Gea on that and say that you know a top level player shouldn't be scared of uh, a weaker player. Um, When's Ganacho back, says Marcus. He's on the road to back, back, but obviously he's not back yet. But uh, he's on the road to being back. I would expect him to be in a match day squad at some point in the next week or so. I wouldn't be surprised if he's involved with the Villa game, but uh, you know, I'm not 100% sure about that. Right, teams are out there now. That's the Brighton team. Let's get the United team on the screen for you. Uh, there we go. So there's the Man United lineup. Smash a like on the video if you're liking it. That is how we line up today. Doesn't it look strong? Manchester United with the Gea in goal. Wan-Bissaka and Delo at fullback. Luke Shaw and Victor Lindelof at centre-back. Trust me, Luke Shaw will be playing left-sided centre-back, not Victor Lindelof. Um, Eriksen, Casemiro and Bruno. And then you've got Rashford, Anthony and Martial as the front three. And I guarantee, again, Anthony will be playing on the right and Rash Rashford will be on the left. So they've mixed that up a bit. Um... Uh, the Snail says, I, I do back Ten Hag, but I am disappointed that Malassia is not starting. I uh, think we need a natural left footer against March, uh, says the Snail. Thank you very much. And feel great about this lineup. Honestly, come on, United, says Winston. I think, it's a, I think it's a flip of the coin game. And that's huge respect to Brighton and how good they are, because it shouldn't be a flip of the coin game. When Man United are playing Brighton at Wembley in an FA Cup semi final, we should be the favourites. We're not the favourites because we're shit we're not the favourites because Brighton are very, very good. And I think it's a flip of the coin game on who's going to win. Um, the Brighton lineup, I'll show it you in a minute, but um, let's just stick with United for a moment. Um, Matoma versus Wan-Bissaka is going to be cheeky, says Abs, and um, very hard to predict the game and United's form, says Enjoy Writing. Thank you very much. Uh, which loss do you unbiasedly think has been more embarrassing? Today's Spurs loss or Man United loss against Liverpool? Keep up the good work, says Booth. Man United's loss against Liverpool is more embarrassing than 6-1 for Spurs at Newcastle, let's be honest. Uh, Lars, come on United! And that's our best midfield and front line. If we can keep a clean sheet or only concede one, I think we have a decent chance at sneaking this. A lot of people going with 2-1 as well, Joseph. Thank you very much for your comments there. Um, let's have a quick look at what some of the members are saying. So we've got uh, Mike, who's saying who's the ref. Mika says who's the ref. Oh, is it Anthony Taylor? I think it's Anthony Taylor. Paul Lucas is a member. He says it better be a better performance than the last match. Otherwise, Brighton will run all over us. Well, I think it's inevitable that we'll improve. We've got to improve. Uh, Liam Whitehouse is a member. He says Shaw and Lindelof should be able to do a job on Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck's a good player, mate. His movement's really, really good. Referee is not Taylor. Rory C says it's Pawson. And the top seven this season is very good in the EPL, says it's your boy. Uh, who would you rather have back in the team right now, Mark? Varane or Martinez, says CGI. Might be con con controversial. If I could choose to have Martinez or Varane back, probably Varane. Because I think Varane and Shaw are better than Martinez and Lindelof. And you can't play Martinez and Shaw because they're both left-footed. So if Martinez was back, you'd put Luke Shaw to left-back and you'd play Martinez and Lindelof. Whereas if Varane was back, you'd play Varane and Shaw. And I think Varane and Shaw have already proven they're a better centre-back pairing. I actually think Varane and Shaw are our second-best centre-back pairing. Uh, Varane and Martinez are the best. Varane and Shaw are the next best. And then I think Martinez and Lindelof are the next best. Um, so I'd have Varane back just because I like Varane and Luke Shaw. But uh, I'd love to have bloody either of them back, to be honest. Um, I really, really would. Um and it's just a shame that we're not. I think we, I, I said this this morning. I think we're so unlucky to not have to lose two centre backs at, at this point of the season. Um, Enjoy writing says I think we'll do all right without Maguire today. 
Well, look, I would have wanted us to change. Even if Maguire was available, I would like to have seen us play this today anyway. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Um, but I think it's going to be a fast-paced game. I think it's going to be, you know, easy on the eye in relation to possession. And, excuse me, I think um, I think we'll get the job done. I do. I think we'll get it done. But, you know what? Confidence before a fall and all that. We know, you know, I was confident that we were going to beat Sevilla. And we just didn't turn up. So, uh, let's just uh, see. Um bit of a rumour going round, don't know whether it's true, that Hugo Lloris refused to come out for the second half. Um, God, way, way to ruin your legacy, mate. Um, how many years have you been at Spurs? A bit disappointing. But uh, there you go. There we go. What a, well, look. That's probably not a bad result from Manchester. It's probably not a bad result for us, you know. Just, just looking at Newcastle there, they're just about to finish. Uh, they're three minutes into added time, 6-1. Probably not a bad result for Man United. Destroys Spurs' goal difference, as isn't great. Um, puts us in a straight fight with Newcastle for, th for third. But massively dense the morale of Liverpool and Brighton and Aston Villa and Spurs in the race for top four. Um, when was the last time Casemiro, Martial and Rashford were all available, says Zed? I, I don't have the facts here, but I've got a funny feeling that this might be... a It might even be the very first time we've played Casemiro, Eriksen and Bruno with Anthony, Rashford and Martial. I don't know. I'm trying to think if we've ever done it, but... I can't think of when it would have happened because we, Casemiro didn't start playing games until into September. I remember Rashford ended up getting injured and missing the, the international break in September. Martial was in and out of the team. Um, I can't think of when we when, when we did it. Um, but a few people are saying we did it at City at home. Um and Everton first half away, says Uzar. Arsenal at home, says Cobblers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a photographic memory on starting 11s. It's, you know, it's, I, I just know that, uh, um, you know, Martial's been injured so much. Casemiro's been suspended a lot. Eriksen's missed a lot of the season as well. So that it would have to be, it won't have happened many times, will it? Uh, YT says Maguire's on the bench. No, he's not. He's suspended. And thank you for giving my life a new passion, Mark. When things are down, I know I've always got Man United and this lovely sport, says Lit. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks for the nice message. I hope you're all feeling confident. Confidence. You know, not confident, but happy. Um, respect the opposition, of course. Thoughts on Liverpool making top four, says Joshua. Absolutely uh, no chance. Um, I just can't see it. Um yeah, I just can't see it. You're, you're nine points behind us and we've got a game in hand. Newcastle have just won. You, know, you struggled to beat a shit Forest type side yesterday. I just don't think you'll do it. I really don't. Um, but you, you, I think you'll probably get your Europa League. Hi, Mark. Will United stand be in the US for the preseason tour? Yes. Any chance we can get a live show? Hope so. You have the followers across the pound, says Caps. Yeah, um, I think we're looking at doing one in New York um, and maybe one in... Um, on the east side as well. West side. I'm doing that never eat shredded wheat. West side. Um, it was Everton away, says Amadi. There, there, there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for all the super chats, by the way. Please do subscribe to the channel, bottom right-hand corner. Get involved with the United Stand. We're live every night at 8 o'clock, every morning at 10 o'clock, and everything in between. Um, let's go. New York City, says Winston. Hi, Mark. Asking for your call. Are United going to win this today, says Marty Smith. I'm consistent with my 2-0. Um, you might have seen me on the TUS predictor game. If you look at the standings, I'm in there. Um, and I'm, I'm confident today. I'm confident. But look... It's different to Sevilla. I think Brighton are a better team than Sevilla and I, I massively respect them. So I think if we were, if we were losing 1-0 or something like that, I wouldn't be sat there going, what's going on? What's going on? You know, I don't imagine that. I think they're a good team. I think they're capable of scoring against us. And uh, I think we've just got to 
keep you know what I don't want to see. I don't want to see is going one one nil behind anyway. But what I don't want to see is is go one nil behind and drop our heads. Like they're a good side. You've got to be, you've got to be you've got to be your head's got to be in the game for ninety minutes here. It's a setback. It's not the end of the game if they score first. I have a hope with Shaw centre back and Bruno playing one nil wins as I said. Well, so much about it as well, which we haven't mentioned. So much of so much of this game is also dependent on. Um, Fitness. How fit is Martial? How fit is Rashford? How fit is Luke Shaw? Because Luke Shaw didn't look particularly fit on Thursday night and neither did Marcus Rashford. So hopefully they are 90 minutes fit. Um, Iso says, I have hope. Yeah, thank you very much. How does Basuma go for 25 million but Casido for 50 million plus, says Sihan. Uh, it's a 4.30 kickoff. Yeah, so we're half an hour away from the start of this game. Newcastle have won 6 1 against Spurs. Um... Are there any players that can't afford a yellow today that could miss the final? Says Yef. Yef, I don't even understand how Mark, uh, how and how Harry Maguire is um, suspended for this game. Uh, suspended for this game, but wasn't suspended for the the, the Forest game. I think the uh, the um, the suspensions for the FA Cup are really weird. I don't really understand how it works. So I don't know whether. Whether we whether we have got players on suspensions or not, um, let me just get the stats carousel going round for you as well, so you can see the Brighton team. Where is it? There we go, and start for you. There we go. There's the Brighton team on the screen. Thank you very much. Um, watching from Canada says Ant. Thank you very much. Uh, Harry Maguire is suspended. He's not on the bench. He can't start. He can't be on the bench. It's as simple as that. Um, why did Rashi and Anthony switch wings? They've not. It's just don't ever take any notice of formations. Just take notice of the starting eleven. Luke Shaw's going to be playing left-sided centre back as well. I don't know why they've got him on the right. It's just the way. It's just the stats provider. What do you think on uh, the the job that McKenna's doing at Ipswich? Says Ben. Um, I get asked this all the time, so I'm just going to answer it. McKenna and Carrick. Uh, under Solskjaer were dreadful and they deserve to go. Um, managing a team that should be in the top four is very different to going coaching a League One or a Championship side. Um, Solskjaer was a terrible, terrible coach and I think what's happened with McKenna and Carrick is that they're obviously talented coaches who in their own right have done very well as the boss at Ipswich and Middlesbrough. Um, so fair play to them but they were n they never should have been coaching Man United under Solskjaer. That was just a recipe for disaster and fair play to them for going off and uh, proving that they're good coaches but I get people saying to me all the time oh you used to say that they were bad coaches well do you want to check the Wikipedia page we were shit so the coaching setup at United was rubbish the feedback from the players was that it was like the sort of training you did when you were you were 10 years of age um, so look it didn't work at United but I'd love to see Solskjaer go and manage a club in, in Division 1 and do well as well. But uh, Carrick has done great at Middlesbrough and McKenna's doing fantastically well at Ipswich and fair play to them. And look, you know, I don't think they were ready for that job at Man United. They've gone and done what they should do, which is go into the lower leagues and earn your stripes. And that's what they're doing. Uh, we have about four really good players and that explains our season, says Gershon. Thank you very much. And to, to all real United fans, my friend told me Mark actually isn't from Manchester. Don't let him divide our fan base. We have to stay United, says Maxon. Fantastic chat from a super twat. Um, yeah, most of this chat isn't from Manchester, mate. So uh, well done for outing yourself as a prat. Um, Tottenham got... And apparently I divide the fan base because I back people like David De Gea, by the way, just to give a little bit of clarity to Max. Nobody even starts to fathom that Oli got another job. Well, I don't, look, I don't want to talk about Solskjaer. We're trying to talk about something very, very positive here. Um, two, lots of people in the chat are going to go with a 2-1 win for Manchester United. Remember, we could have extra time and we could have penalties. So um, I'd probably go with a draw if I was being honest. But we can't have a draw. So I think that I'm going to go with a Man United win. Um, great meeting you on tour, says James. Thank you very much, James. I love being from Australia. You know, um, watch out this week. Actually, we'll be releasing our next tour date, which um, which is going to be an end of the season thing. Um, really excited about releasing that this week. It's a it's a bigger venue as well. I love being from Australia. United you know, consistently ruining my sleep schedule. I you know what you know what we talk about real fans and and that and some people I think they go to bed 
with a mantra at night. I'm an I'm a top Man United fan. I'm a top Man United fan. It's never crossed my mind. You know, I know loads of Man United fans. You know, I know someone I went to school with. I don't think they even know United are playing today, but they, but they say they're a Man United fan. I couldn't give a shit. I, I don't care about, you know, whether you watch every game, go to every game, you know, constantly got it on your phone, or, you know, you'd happily go down the pub rather than watch United play. I don't care. Everyone's a United fan. Who's a United fan? But um, these people who wake up at three o'clock in the morning to watch Man United play, and I see them in the chat all the time, bloody hell. I mean... I do it when we're on tour and it's a novelty, but I don't, you know, hats off. I'm not even wearing a hat. You know, when you're getting up at three, four, five o'clock in the morning, twice a week to watch Man United play before work, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. And, it, and, and that's dedication. And I don't think it gets shouted out enough. You know, we're very good at saying that the match going fans and the away support is brilliant. And it really, really is. But there's so many people that are getting up at two, three, you, you can't stay up. Like they're getting up at two or three o'clock in the morning to watch Man United play. It's an incredible dedication for an incredible football club and we should celebrate it. And too many people try and divide this fan base with we're better than you, you're better than us. And actually there's such a dedicated support. And I'm sure it's the same for other clubs, but we're talking about Man United here. Um, so big shout out to everybody around the world who gets involved. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and get involved with the United Stands. Everybody is welcome on here. Watching from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It's close to midnight, says Devon Dran. Uh, morning from Dallas, Texas. Thanks for the great content. Confidence of a 3-1 win, says Ice Wolf. Thank you very much, mate. Do you know why the club separated themselves from True Geordie, says Rahul? Um, I thought you were talking about Man United then. Um I know, I, I do. I know, the, I know, the, I know the full story behind that. I know the full story about a lot of things. But uh, until somebody invites me on a show for a tell-all, um, I've always said I'd love to do a one-on-one -on -one interview on the industry. Um, but until someone does that, I'm not going to start putting stuff out there now. I could tell you lots of stories about lots of people. They're more than happy to tell tell lies about me. Trust me. You know the amount of doors that get slammed in my face. I'm surprised I've not got a permanent broken nose. But uh, off lies. But bloody hell, there's a cracking video there. There is a cracking video there, but I'm not going to reveal it today. Uh, does this prove that Harry Kane should not be allowed anywhere near Man United? He was the captain and I didn't see any fight from Spurs. Well, Fabian, to be fair, can I just defend Harry Kane? He is not the guy who let the five goals in or the six goals in. And he actually scored a really good individual goal. I think there's a question mark about Harry Kane and what some people might call PTSD or the Stockholm Syndrome, and just the damage it does playing in a, a team that bottles it for so long. Has he got the right mentality for Manchester United? But on the other hand, and I'm sure Robert McCormack would agree, it could be really liberating for him to go and play in a team that doesn't give up. So, um, look, I think it's unfair to blame that on Harry Kane. And there's no doubt that Harry Kane's a fantastic striker. I'd rather we went elsewhere for different reasons. But, um, you know, you don't want anybody coming in with a question mark on their mentality, but I'm sure... Um, I'm sure United will do their homework on that anyway. Mark, if there was a one player you could bring back to the club again, who would it be? For me, we really need a player like Ander Herrera, says Barry. Uh, Quentin, thanks for your super chat. What, current player who's currently still playing? Oh, we've had this before and I can't remember. Love from Australia, says Mantej. Brighton midfield is younger than ours and energetic, says enjoy writing. Uh, if I had one current player who's playing at the moment that I would bring back to Manchester United... Why have I gone blank on this? I, mean, I wouldn't. I tell you what, I wouldn't mind Chris Smalling at the moment. I think Chris Smalling would be bloody brilliant at the moment. We we need a centre back, so he, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind Cavani. Yeah, I really wouldn't mind Cavani at the moment. You know, we need a centre back. We need a goal scorer. Um, but I'm sure there's somebody that I'd take Smalling or Cavani over Herrera. I don't think Herrera is the player he was now. Uh, Hey Mark, also from Australia, love your show. Is moving to England for eight months in ten days. My dream is to go to Old Trafford and watch United. Lucas, yeah, get it done. At least we won't have to get up early. Hello from uh, Montana. Any chance United stand a meet up in El Vegas for the Dortmund games? Says Bobby. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to start announcing some of these games for the tour. Um, and Joshua says, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Kickoff is at 1:30 a.m. and got work at eight. It's going to be a short sleep for me, but keep, uh, but but up United going for a one-one and extra time. Well, Joshua, you don't want extra time. Try and get yourself some extra kit, mate. Uh, I wouldn't bring Juan Mata back. Um, I wouldn't bring Juan Mata back, no. 
Um, no, Andres Pereira is a good shout. Zaha mentioned as well by all. Um, Pogba, I wouldn't bring Pogba back. I mean, what's Pogba done? Ben Foster. <laughs> yeah, everyone would be demanding he get he plays instead of De Gea. Right, um, I'm just going to check and see um, if Manchester United, uh, if we've got any quotes coming in from Eric Ten Hag yet, because I'm sure there will be. We're only 25 minutes away from kickoff. It's flown by. I always find when it's a half past kickoff, it psychologically seems to go better, a bit, bit quicker. Um, uh, no comments coming in from Eric Ten Hag just yet, but I'm sure they will be very, very soon. Um, what a game! What a game! I'm I'm really excited about this. I think we're so look. Sevilla's gone, so you can't be excited about a game that's gone. But um, I think when you look at it, we've got United against Brighton now. We've got Spurs away on Thursday, and then we've got Aston Villa at home on Sunday. Three very very big games, and um, you know I think if we can if we can win two and draw one. I mean, if we can win all three, but we basically got top four and a cup final sorted. If we can be, if we can, look, take it every game as it goes, but we can get, we can take a lot of confidence from this is what I'm trying to say. We can also take a lot of um, psychological trauma from this as well. Um, so yeah, let's get it done. Let's get it, let's get it done. Uh, I'm ready. I hope you're ready as well. Um, Mark, is there any fear that Ten Hag could let, get, let, could not. That, that, that. Travis says, is there any fear that Ten Hag could get let go prematurely like Nagelsmann? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, this fan base was so vocal about getting this manager. I don't think that, I mean, look, we don't know who the new owners are going to be, but I can't see, I can't see Ten Hag going for a long time. Um, I, I, I really can't. Um, you know, one Italian player you'd like to see at United, says Sachin. Well, I've always liked Chiesa, but I do like Tonali. Um, you know, I, yeah, I like Chiesa, I think. Um, here in Singapore, I usually watch the midnight kickoff if the match is a big one. Sleep early and watch the Star Hub live game. And United stand watch along, says Luke. Thank you very much. It's great to hear from people all over the world. Uh, they've added Kieran Gibbs to the ESPN pre-match pundit team, along with Shaka Hislop and the other clowns. Couple more and it will be officially a circus, says Fernando. Oh, mate, what is going on with the SPN in America? Look, I will fly over and do it. Like I'm not, I'm, you know, if they want to pay my flights, I will come over and do it. I thought in America, you were the forefront of what punditry should be because I watch a lot of NFL and a lot of your NFL pundits never played the game and they're brilliant. And yet you employ... Poundland ex-footballers. You don't even employ good ones. You employ Poundland ex-footballers to talk football. And they're shit. Ideal centre-back singing, signing to replace Maguire, says Christopher. I like Kim min -jay. Um I do. Um, and I've got to be honest, I'll, 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 I'll let you into a little secret. I normally check Napoli team news in Italy two or three times a week because every week that goes by where Kim Min Jae hasn't signed a new contract is another week closer to the last two weeks of June where his release clause kicks in and he can be bought for 40 million. What the bloody hell? Oh, I need to change channel. Oh, I just, I've still got it on Sky and um, Danny Rose, what's he wearing? I don't know whether I like it or hate it. Um, anyway, I need to change channel. Mark, we're going to win 6-0. I tell you what, Hudson, if we won 6-0 today, I'd be very, very happy. Uh, Stuart says, ESPN Panda to crap. I absolutely hate watching their pre-game. Also, they are biased as well. It's embarrassing, really, says Stuart. Uh, SB, thank you very much. The thing is, the United States has always been quite a forefront of, you know, sports media. You know, a lot of what you do ends up being used over here. Like, years ago, Monday Night Football... All that was copied from America. Um, but you're shite at your soccer coverage or whatever you call it over there. 
I don't know why you employ these people. Shaka Hislop, Steve Nichol, um, who else do you have? There's somebody else, Craig Burley. They don't get on the telly over here. We don't use them. I don't know why you use them. My recovery from jam from generalised anxiety to ending up in 24-hour care for mental health on losing four stone, getting a pure gym job and starting the issue channel cardio and nutrition, says Alex. I, think, I feel that's a big statement, mate, but I think it's also something to celebrate. Um, I don't, Yeah, so well done. Um, and thank you very much for your super chat. Uh, appreciate that. Um, yeah. Keep going. Sounds like you're doing really, really well. Thank you very much. Um, Darren says Danny Rose looks like Cheryl Cole in that video. I know which video you're on about. Hi, Mark. Any update on the sale, says Rohit. Only what I know this morning, uh, only what I said this morning, I think with all these uh, protests going ahead, I fully expect to see a really positive story this week that United will be sold because the Glazers can't be trying to sell the club with what's going to go down next Sunday. So I think we'll get a really positive update. And as I've said before, I absolutely, and I said this in November, I'm absolutely convinced that the Qatar bid will have an ex-player involved. Um, so let's wait and see. Where do you think United would be if we invested in the club and another striker and a centre-back, says Shane? Well, we can't, you know, where would we be if we kept Ranić? Stephen Ross says, I think ESPN football analysis is so bad because the executives don't know the game and think these ex-players are actually experts, says Stephen. Oh, it's, 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 it's scary, isn't it? Get, get out of my number. <laughs> Oh, God. What's happened there? Let's have a sneeze. Mark, we need to win today and fight like hell in the final to ensure Man City don't win the treble. Shook, I think you're absolutely spot on. I've seen so many people talking about um, Man City in the FA Cup final. I actually saw people yesterday saying it's probably best if Brighton win because they've got a better chance of beating... Uh, they've got a better chance of beating... Uh, Man City than we have. Screw that for a game of blockbusters. I don't want Brighton having the the opportunity to um, stop Man City from winning the bloody treble. We'll do it, thanks. I mean, look, it'll be a nervy affair, but we've 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 got to be the ones that go and do it, not them. Um, look, of course, I I will want Brighton to do it if it if it's down to that, but I, I don't I don't want that to happen. I want it to be us. I want us to do it, not not them. Forget about that, thank you very much. So yeah. I don't I don't get that. I just don't get that. I want Manchester United to be the team in the final. And I think we could beat Man City in the cup final because I think it would, you know, it matters, doesn't it? You hope it matters. You hope it matters. I mean look. If we did get spanked in the final and City won the treble, you know, I would hate it, but at least there'd be no excuses. I think we have to be the team that stops them. Um, Wu says it's an easier game for City. I don't give a shit. I want it to be his. Any plans to do a show in Toronto, says Boza. Not at the moment. And uh, Joshua says, didn't have time to watch the show earlier. What was the news on Varane? And could we be looking at Frimpong as a right midfielder? Because he can play there, says Joshua. Maybe, maybe. Could be something in that. Uh, won't lie. Thanks for all the super chats, by the way. You can do that through the dollar sign. Thank you very much uh, for supporting the channel. Uh, and big shout out to the members like Ryan, who says, for the sake of our history, it has to be us in the final. Um, I don't think it really matters. Um, oh, Joshua, sorry. Uh, Varan, six weeks. They're concerned that he might be out for six weeks and not three. Six weeks would mean he'd be out for the season. So um, I think there's a little bit of a concern around that. Yeah. Don't forget, we're sponsored by Manscaped. Links in the description. 20% off, free worldwide shipping as well. So it's 20% off and free worldwide shipping. You'll never regret getting one of these, the Lawnmower 4.0. It's got a light on it for a more precise shave, 4,000 RPM engine, adjustable lengths for what length you want. It's waterproof as well. Get it down there, trim the grass to make the yard look bigger. You will never, ever stop using it. It's fantastic, absolutely incredible. Just so powerful as well. Um, check it out. 20% off. Free worldwide shipping. Use the code United Stand. Uh, that's our stats carousel going round next to me. That'll be updating as the game goes on. We're only 15 minutes away from the start of this game. Rich is our latest member. Big shout out to Rich. Um, thank you very much for joining. We've also got another member with a, with a comment here. It's Mark Sewell, who's been a member for 18 months. He says, if City did the treble, I would be gutted, but take solace in that we did it first and didn't cheat for hours. 
Um, look, I don't want to talk about it because it's we're not we're not it's not really rea reality yet, but uh, it does worry me. Um, Errol says tinted moisturizer bridge. I don't know what people are talking about about this. I I, I, I haven't. I don't know whether I've got a liver problem or something. I haven't put any of my fake tan on yet. I mean, I'll tell you if I did, but I, I'm not I'm not ready for that yet. It's raining and stuff. I wouldn't do it yet. It'd be too obvious. I can't walk down the local with a bloody tan on. They'd, they'd know what it is. But uh, no, it's probably just because I've had a haircut. Yeah. I did have a few beers last night, though, so maybe it's my liver. Just, you know, I don't know. But uh, genuinely not. I'm not, uh, I'm not vain enough to pretend that I don't use uh, products, but I haven't used any. Uh, Joshua Bowwater says, I'm scared. What are you scared of? Put the light on, Joshua. Call the police. Oh, you're scared of the game. Um, ESBNFC versus United Stand charity match would be awesome, says Travis. Um, I am going fully grey. I don't mind. I saw some pictures of me the other day when I wasn't grey and I, didn't, I don't like my hair. It was all one tone, one tone brown. And I think actually I quite like the, uh, I quite like the silver flex. Um, yeah. Um, what Brighton stats are mad? Albiez says those Brighton stats are mad. I don't know what stats you're on about. I don't know. Dope sweater. Yeah, you can get one of these. We do ship these worldwide as well. Loads of merch um, available through the United Stands Shopify. We've probably got the link in the video description as well. But um, you can check that out. Um, big, big up for that. Um, Michael's been a member for, for 12 months. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you very much. Um, ben says, what aspect of Brighton's play or Brighton player is their biggest threat today? Is there anything that worries you the most? That's a great question, Ben, actually. Um, I think what worries me the most about Brighton is their ability to um, transition quickly. Um, they move the ball really, really well. Uh, I watched them last week, like I said, because I hadn't seen them for a while against Chelsea. And considering it was away from home, their their um their confidence on the ball is incredible and they really do understand where they are on the pitch and where their where where their where their teammates are on the pitch as well um and what i mean by that is they've got a real ability to you know like when the ball goes from the goalkeeper to the midfielder and he's got his back to what's going on behind him they don't panic because they're so well drilled and they can tra transition really, really quickly, like I say. They can move the ball really quickly. And defensively, they're very aggressive as well. You know, they can instigate the press high up the pitch, but they're well organised at the back. So they very rarely get smashed, Brighton. Um, I don't know whether they've been beaten by more than two goals this season. I'm sure someone's going to tell me they have. Um, and they can take the game away from you very, very quickly. So I expect it to be a 90-minute game. And that's not because I'm coming out with something like um, Michael Owen. That's because I genuinely think that this game will not be over till it's over. I don't think we're going to see two or three nil with twenty minutes to go. I think uh, I think they'll uh, I think they'll get I think it will be a, a ninety minute game. They're a very good side. Um, they're, they're so hard to dislike Brighton. I mean, maybe that'll be different today. It's always different when you're playing against the team, but they're very they're very hard to dislike. What's your thoughts on this? Eric Ten Hag making sure a left centre back and buying Fringpong as an attacking fullback is Akil. There's got to be something going on. Mark, you wanted Pogba to leave because he was injury prone, but you want Martial to stay, although he's injury prone. Favoritism at its best, says Mango. No, you're not. You don't, you don't listen. Who would you take for? Who would you take top four plus City treble or no top four plus City no treble? I don't want them to do the treble, Miz. So whatever you're saying. Um, it was on BBC. Brighton are first in shots, second in shots on target, and first in XG across all of Europe above City and Madrid in the different categories. Wow, that's a worry, Joshua. That is a worry. Thank you very much for telling us that. So they're, they're fantastic, basically. Uh, fantastic show. Man City can win a treble, but they will never win one in the manner we did. And Solskjaer has won it, says David Taylor. Yeah, well, let's hope we don't have to compare trebles. And if City win the treble, does that raise Pep above Sir Alex, says Rohit? No, no, it doesn't, because um, Sir Alex Ferguson rebuilt a club that hadn't won a title. Um, Pep took a club and an open checkbook and they'd already won a title. So I don't think you can compare Pep Guardiola to Sir Alex Ferguson. And I don't think you can compare Pep Guardiola to Sir Alex Ferguson anyway because Sir Alex Ferguson broke the Rangers Celtic domination with Aberdeen to get the Man United job. Pep Guardiola inherited Messi, Barcelona and probably one of the greatest teams ever. Pep Guardiola is a fantastic coach, but if he wants to be in the Sir Alex Ferguson category, 
he needs to go and rebuild a club from the bottom down. And uh, I don't think he'll ever do that. So he never will be on that level. He might, he might be a better coach, but he will never have that reputation because he hasn't done the things that Sir Alex Ferguson did. Bet Builder is giving considerably much higher odds for United. This is odd, says GJ. Any news on Ganacho going to the under-20s World Cup, says Joshua. Um, and I'm not going to dye my hair. Um, apparently, Mascarano is the under-20s coach for Argentina, and he's flying in to uh, tomorrow uh, to talk about it. Uh, Hugo Lloris is on the telly, so I don't know what's going on here. He doesn't look particularly comfortable, but I haven't got the audio for it. So, uh, Watching United stand when you only had 50k subs, Mark. Thanks for the content. All the best from Ireland, says Robert Whelan. Well, thank you very much for your super chat, Robert. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. I was going to check that, how we're doing, but uh, only 10 minutes to go. I think this is absolutely flown by. I think this is one of the quickest hours build-up we've ever had, and I've got to say I'm here for it because... I actually expect it to be quite a long build upon this. But uh, we're only 10 subscribers away from 636,000, by the way. So please subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. Um, that's uh, that's perfect. Sorry, that's just Fabrizio messaging me about tomorrow. I'm such a big head. No, it was, though. Um... Mark, you always diss Pochettino's big team record. What about Eric Ten Hag? Hasn't won away from home against the big six and bottled Sevilla with the subs and also won a trophy. Aha, uh -huh, swivel on that. Pe Poch has never won a bloody trophy. Have those. There's two for you. Won a trophy in his first season in charge. FA Cup semi-final. In the top four. Poch never won anything at Spurs. Swivel on it. Um... Mark, there is a lot of talk now about everyone with United, with the fans and the United stand. We will be fine. Fine progress in the last year. It's Ray from Dublin, says Ray. And we have to take advantage of this being at Wembley. This is our stage and we're used to it. Newcastle crumbled. Brighton could do as well. I'm hoping that might help us, Aaron. I am hoping that might help us, yeah. Um, can I just go back to the Martial thing, by the way? I don't like that. Apparently, I'm a hypocrite because I wanted Pogba to be sold because he was injury prone. And I haven't said that about Martial. I don't think these people listen. I've literally said when Martial went off on Thursday, it's, he's got to go. Like, we can't keep a player that can't play. I like Martial. I will not have people say he's lazy. I will not have people say he's crap. But his injuries are a problem. I'm very happy he's playing today. I didn't say get rid of Pogba because of his injuries, by the way. I said get rid of Pogba because it was a circus. I said Pogba needs to go, we need to go. Uh, I, I liked Pogba. A lot of people hated Pogba at the end. He was booed at Old Trafford. I never hated Pogba. I just felt like it was a, a relationship that needed a, an amicable parting of the ways. So I don't know where people, you know, I don't mind having a conversation, but when people put words in your mouth and make things up, like apparently I turned against Ten Hag on Thursday night and I literally didn't. So I will call it out when people talk shit. Apparently Sheikh Jazim's representative will see today's match. Could be a turning point in the takeover, says Hardik. I would have hoped he's seen Man United play before today. Really, really would. Um, it would be helpful if he had. Um, Hardik, thank you very much though. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think we'll get some big news this week. Um, I do. I think we'll get some big news this week on United and the sale of Manchester United. Um, yeah. Uh, what's Hugo Lloris talking about? Because he's still on my telly. Bruno Scott and Malasia are all on yellow cards, says Justin. Thank you very much. Just in time. What's your thoughts on Anana from Inter, says uh, uh, D. I think there's plenty of people out there that we could be looking at this summer, but I think it all goes back to what uh, the previous Super Chat said, and it really depends on whether we've got new owners. Um I saw a lot of excitement this morning about Costa being the goalkeeper for Man United in the summer. He got no chance. Absolutely no chance. Lloris is on my telly, chump, because I've not got the FA Cup game on. See, again, this is this is a prime example. It's not Lloris, you muppet. I'm literally looking at Hugo Lloris. I've seen him play football for over a decade. I'm looking at Hugo Lloris. He's on my TV because I've still got Sky on. Swivel on it. Um... I haven't turned it over yet. I've got still got Danny Rose, Jamie Redknapp, Kieran Dyer, and the other guy. Um, let's have a look what Eric Ten Hag has had to say, because those quotes have come in now. Um, here we go. Yeah, fair play. Um, bit of breaking news. Uh, 
Sheikh Jazim's representatives are at Wembley. Yep, yeah, good. Uh, Ten Hag, we are annoyed after Thursday. It was a big opportunity and we let it go. We had a poor performance and we need to bounce back. We need to bounce back, you see. I think it gives us a good feeling when we enter the stadium. The memories of the Carabao Cup final. We had a great time here. But of course, if we want to get it, we have to suffer. We have to play well, organised, be brave and play with a lot of belief. Um, also, um, everyone wants to be involved, which says a lot about the motivation. And of course, we have to bounce back again. We had a very bad performance on Thursday. It's a great opportunity. It's a semi-final to get to the final, but you have to earn it. Uh, the, the, there are no worries about Luke Shaw. I think it's the first time this partnership with Lindelof has been used, but he knows what he has to do. They know how to anticipate certain actions from Brighton. So I have got confidence. It doesn't matter who plays. We have to win. Of course, it's important when you have quality players, they can make the difference. Um, so Eric Ten Hag definitely speaking up our chances in the game today. And hopefully, hopefully, um, we will uh, we will get over the line. Um a lot of people getting excited about Sheikh Jazim's representatives being at the club. I I hope so. Uh, you know, I, I hope it I hope it's a, a sign of big things to come. But you know, at the end of the day, it's not like we don't know he's putting a bid in. Why have we still got Sky on, Ben? Says your Pratt. Uh Sheikh's reps are at Wembley for the game, says T Joshua. Uh, Zeno, thank you very much um, for joining the Members Club. I suppose the, the answer to that is, what is the... Um, I'm just changing the channel now. What is the um, meaning of, um, of, him, of, of them being there? And effectively... You know what? I never know who's got the FA Cup rights. I always thought the F I always thought ITV had FA Cup, or, or is it B? I don't. I never know. I never know what channel it's on. It's on BBC. Um, what does it mean having uh, Sheikh Jazim representatives at the game? I don't know. It could be really significant that they're going to buy Man United. It could be as insignificant as them sat watching it at home. Um, so yeah. Um, at the end of the day. We just need to get to a point where the Glazers aren't in charge. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, here we go. Um, I'm uh, I'm excited about this. I've been looking, you know, from a footballing point of view, I'm excited about this. I think Brighton are... Remember a few years ago, I used to say, if you were ever... Uh, if you were ever wanting to introduce somebody to football, watch Leeds. Because Bielsa's leads were always a good watch. Not because they were good. You know, they, they, they could score but concede. I think Brighton are now the team that if you want to get somebody into football, then that's the way to do. Um, love the tracksuit tops, but why do they very rarely wear them? Says uh, Jack Strand. And Mark, this lack of no backup at centre-back makes me nervy. Says Utrid. Destiny is all. Um, Lewis Dunk is better than Maguire, says Mackish. I don't think anyone would disagree with you on that one. And Shearer just said he doesn't like the look of United's back four. He probably thinks like that because Maguire isn't playing, says Wick. Um, that's my tracksuit top. I've got that. It is a nice tracksuit top. Oh, no, I don't, know whether, I don't know whether I have got that one. I don't think I have got that one. Is it the same? Let's let's try it out. There we go. I'm I'm playing centre back, Bruno. I'm let me into the team. Is it that one? I don't think it is the mine. I think mine's more a shiny material. I think theirs was more uh, canvasy. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to wear this. Time to get ready. Put me at centre back, Bruno. Put me at centre back. I'll give you. I'll put a shift in. It's not the same. I don't think it is. Uh, Larice refused to play second half after a fight. Says AJ. Well, interesting. I, I, he did an interview, so I don't know what what what's gone on there. But uh, we are ready to go here. We don't really care much about what's gone on there.
Oh, Hugo Lloris. Oh, that, that's that's for, that's for another day. We're here to we're here to watch this game. We're not here to analyse that. I'm sort of flipping between the two. Uh, love the tracksuit tops. Why did they very wear them? That was Jack. And we made a bright start Thursday. Maguire's nonsense caused fear throughout the team. Says Red. Right, let's get ready to rumble. Oh, I can't wait for this game. Look, the Zerbi and Ten Hag having a cuddle and a chat. I think there's a lot of respect there. You know what? There's a lot of respect for Brighton. I very rarely go into a game and I'm sat there, you know, actually with a bit of warm heart and affection for the opposition. I just I just really do like Brighton. And that's probably not going to be the case if they beat us. But there's just something very pure and likeable about them. And that's why if we can get the result, it will be a real boost for us. Um But uh, make sure you smash a like and subscribe. We're only 10 subscribers away, as I say, from um, 636,000. So smash that subscribe button. I'm going to go 2-0 for Manchester United. I think it's all eyes on the defence. It's all eyes on that guy, Bruno Fernandes. He wasn't there on Thursday. That can be a real difference for us. Um, but uh, Footy Fanatic is nervous. Come on, United, says so Trevon. Matoma versus wan will be battle over the season. I think let keep your eyes on that, Paddy, definitely. Who's the better, Harry? Harry Panera or Harry Maguire, says Nathan. And, oh my God, the stadium's packed. What a surprise, says Sharath Kmath Fitness. I think in fairness to that, you know, that wasn't Sheffield United's fault and it probably wasn't um, Manchester City's fault as well. I just think that was never going to be um, easy to, uh, to fill, was it? Right, I've just got to sort the timer out here because it's wrong. Uh, 17. There we go. We're right now. FA Cup fever. Love this competition. You know what? It's funny you say that, Adam, about the FA, FA Cup. Because my my biggest love when I started getting into football was the FA Cup. Because the FA Cup was massive. You know, the FA Cup final was the biggest game of the season. It's weird. Like, winning the, winning the league wasn't the same as winning the FA Cup. I mean, I don't know. It was just a massive day. And it didn't really matter who was in the final. You know, I remember Coventry Spurs, uh, Liverpool Wimbledon. Um, that was 80, uh, Liverpool Everton, 89. Um, obviously United, Palace, 90. These were all the first few FA Cups and they were just so magical. Do you know what annoys me? Today, Brighton will play their hearts out to beat us and lose to Man City, whereas we know how to beat City. We haven't lost yet, slow sports news. Plenty of time. Good start by United as well. I feel more confident, says Seth, that Brighton could beat City than United for treble for possession. I think it would be better for Brighton. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't deal with this mentality. And, and Seth, to be fair, you're not the only one saying it. I cannot deal with this mentality that uh, we want Brighton to beat us because they've got a better chance of beating Man City. That's just cowardly. Oh, let Brighton, please beat us and then go and do our job against Man City. Screw that. I like this kit from United as well. White shorts, white socks, reminiscent of uh, 99 in the new Camp. Theoretically, if Shaw or Lindelof get sent off, who's coming on? Says Oliver. <laughs> Good question. Watching with my auntie Nora and she's that nervous she just farted, says MB. I predicted a 3-2 United win because of Brighton's play style, said Lubo. And hi, Mark. Lots of love from India. Thank you for making my day with your content, says Dia. Well, Brighton here just settling down in that midfield. Good tackle by Bruno. Casemiro it wide to Rashford. Come on, this is where we go. This is where we motor. Rashford waits for Delo. Bad pass. Bad pass. He had, you know, Delo's motored there. And uh, he did play a pass, Rashford, but I think Delo, maybe he didn't shout loud enough, but Delo should have been the pass. Brighton just knocking it around the back. Goes long. That'll be for De Gea. But look, you know, very early days, but there's more mobility in that back four, isn't there? I mean, I don't want to talk about absent players, but... There just seems to be more mobility in that back four. Obviously. Lovely ball by De Gea. Lays it off into Martial, but Martial's touch is bad. Uh, 
And Brighton aren't now. Brighton getting a bit of the ball. Regarding Casido, I'd rather have players who want to go to Madrid and have something to prove than who want to stay forever and have nothing to prove, says Savish. FA Cup, Carabao and top four would be a fantastic season, says Lloyd. Well, we've got to get it, yeah. Lots of people not liking the camera angle. Uh, this is the new Wembley for you. It's shit. I hate, I hate the new Wembley. Much prefer the old one. Uh, Rashford and Martial have swapped a bit. Yeah, Rashford's gone down the middle and Martial's gone to the left. I don't know whether that's going to be a, a permanent thing or a, a bit of interchangeability. Fascinating game, though. We knew it would be. Kevin's not happy with the camera angle as well. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this little short back pass. Martial looks like he's struggling already, says LJ. Mm, not really. See what I mean about Brighton there? We instigated the press and they just play straight through it. They're so confident playing through the press. Good tackle by Casemiro. Mitoma up against Wambasaka. And they're going to get a free kick on the edge of the box. Anthony. The pace of Mitoma over two yards is frightening. It's deceptive. Just so quick. Clever, clever, clever as well by Mitoma. Look at that. There's not a lot in it, but referees are always going to give those. I think it was a little bit soft, but uh, free kick on the edge of the box. Stupid by Anthony, says Zach. I don't I don't think Anthony's done a lot wrong there. I think it's just clever by Matoma to uh, take the foul. It's a decent position on the edge of the box here. Soft free kick. This is a dangerous position, says Tom. I'll tell you what, I'm a big fan of De Gea, but I'm never a big fan of De Gea on free kicks. I think I've seen him get beat on free kicks so many times. He's a, it's a bit like penalties, isn't it? I don't, I don't think free kicks are his strength. And I'm looking at that top corner where the wall is and I'm thinking if they... I just feel with De Gea, if you put it in that top corner on the side of the wall, he, he very rarely gets it. Here they go. Who will take it? Oh, I tell you what. As soon as it goes over the wall, I think that's going in. De Gea makes the save. It's on his side. He should do that. He, he makes the save anyway. Um, I don't think it's a great save, but... I mean, he seems to go with his unorthodox hand. I'll tell you what, it's a good job he saved that, because he went with that hand, and I think he should have gone with his left. My heart dropped as well, Starvin. I think as soon as it goes over the wall, it's a good free kick, and you think that's going to hit the net, but... Uh, it was going in without the save. Of course it was. But I think it was a bit of a camera save in the sense that you expect him to make it. I think it's a good save. I don't think it's a great save. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm, I'm, stop moaning at me. You know I love De Gea. I'm just saying I don't think it's a world-class save. I think it's a save you'd expect him to make. Um, and it'll, it'll be good for his confidence. And as I say, I'm, you know, I'm never critical of De Gea, but I do I just... <laughs> we seem to, A lot of free kicks seem to go in. Uh, I don't think this first eight minutes has surprised me at all. I think it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. I'm not nervous. I'm not concerned. I really did think that this game would be like this. You know, Brighton probably are going to have a lot of the ball. Um, it's going to be very interesting to keep a, an eye on the stats as they go round. Um, I think it's going to be a very equal game. And I think Brighton would give everybody an equal game at the moment. I mean... Brighton would give Arsenal a game and they'd give Man City a game. So I don't think there's any reason for us to panic or be concerned because Brighton will give everyone a game at the moment. Nice little flick. Bruno will pick it up. Where's he going to go? He's going to go to Anthony. Here we go. Move it, move it, move it. Anthony, he's having a look. Weird, weird ball. Final ball again. We need to relax into the game a little bit. 
I tell you what, I'm liking the defensive line though. We are taking up a very high position on the attack. And De Gea keeps hitting these long balls and, oh. Well, I've got a question there. Rashford throws his hands in the air and I'm sort of looking at that and I'm going, why didn't anyone get on the end of it? To me, it looks like Ericsson and Rashford can both get that and neither of them get it. Good little flick by Rashford and, and Martial will pick it up. Does well. Doesn't win the free kick. I'm loving Anthony's fight, says Christopher. Matoma is too good, says VS. Very good player. Um, intriguing first 10 minutes here. They're so good at Bright Brighton. Are so I'll tell you what, they're so good at playing through the press. They, they're very good, and they always have been really, but taking the ball off the centre-backs into their midfield, they're just so good at uh, playing through the lines. Um, here we go, they're on the attack. Good work by Anthony. He's actually, actually, Anthony is actually on the left at the moment. There's the stats so far, as you can see. Uh, Brighton with more of possession at the moment. I did predict that would happen. Martial hasn't smiled once. Sell him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, Callum. Get him off the miserable bastard. He's so miserable. Sell him straight away. His face. It's his face. Just get rid of his face. Get rid of him. Um, De Gea going long. A response to Thursday. Either from him or the manager, says David. No, I think De Gea's gone long a couple of times because uh, Brighton play quite quite high up themselves. Um, I think his kicking's been okay, actually. That, that ball to Rashford on the left and on the right hand side was quite good. Martial has looked a bit rusty, to be honest, so far. Um, you, wouldn't, you do wonder about how fit he might be. But um, cracking game so far. Manchester United, Brighton, FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. Looks like the super glue holding on to Martial, says Irvin. Luke Shaw goes to De Gea. That's the right kick. That is the right kick. He's done well there. That's surely a foul on Anthony. He's not going to give it. Passionate Anthony again. Bit of fight. Wasn't given as a foul. He's having a word with Anthony Pawson. Pratson, shut up. He's a jobs worth as well. He's one who likes the attention. Just shut up and let the game go. Good play by Brighton. Who's marking who? Ooh, just wide. First shot of the game. Wasn't a great chance. But uh, who's picking up who is the question. This is, this is what I mean. I was asked about what worries you about Brighton. They can, they can carve you open very, very quickly. I think Lindelof took up a great position there. I know the Brighton player's a bit con, you know, a bit disappointed, but I can't see how he's putting that on target. I think Lindelof, NCSO, two goals in his last three games. Fucking hell. He scored a banger last week. Having to go long a lot, but Rashford is winning the headers. Uh, Davin, thank you very much for joining the Members Club. Appreciate that. Brighton's possession at the moment is uh, is very, very good. We've not really got going, have we? Better start for Brighton, says Kev, yeah. Our press is crap since Raven. I personally don't think we're trying to play possession football. I, I'd, uh, I'd change your mentality. People are saying, oh, we can't keep the ball. I don't think we're trying to keep the ball. I think we're trying to break. I think we're trying to counter. 
I said that this morning. I said I wouldn't be surprised if we won this 2-0, but, but Brighton had more of the ball. That's a terrible ball by Casemiro, though. Let's go, Man United. Come on, says Jacob. Um, would love Matoma, says Connie. Yeah, we're trying to break on the transition quickly. Here's Ericsson. Nice ball into Bruno. It's got to be worth a shot. Good save by Sanchez. That's better. You know, I don't mind. We don't need loads and loads of possession. Good chance. Again, a little bit like De Gea's save from the free kick. You expect Sanchez to make that. It's probably more of a camera save, but it's still a save. And it's still a shot for Manchester United. And it was quick and decisive play by Ericsson and into Bruno. They've got a good understanding. He's made a run here, Bruno. Oh, just unlucky. Good, good run by Bruno. Nice pass by Rashford. Here's the Bruno chance again. No look. Anthony gets it into Ericsson. Bruno takes up the clever position. Ericsson pleads it in. I mean, to be fair, from there, Bruno makes a good shot out of it. But it's, you know, a keeper's always saving that. And uh, straight at him in a way. I do agree with the person who said it pre-match, though. I'm just stretching, don't worry. Uh, I think the first goal will have a big impact on this game. Love the show, Mark. Says, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, on. Crop back. Oh, my God, they're queuing up. Matoma. Oh, they fucked that up. Bit scrappy. Could have been uh, the chance, but they didn't really get a clean hit on it from Espinan. Um, Matoma couldn't get it either. But uh, they're down that right-hand side. Gross, causing problems. Ericsson loses his player there. That's Ericsson, that is. You can't blame that on the defence. That's just Ericsson. Love the show, Mark. You seem old school. If you had to choose, would you have McGrath or Varan? Says the great, great British cooking clothing company. Um, thanks to the great British clothing company. I'm a big, big fan of... Um, I'm a very big fan of Paul McGrath, but I probably would go with Raphael Varan. Because I'm not that old school. Here we go, Bruno. Oh, blocked. Game starting to open up a little bit here. Bruno again. You've got to pick those midfield runners up. Look, we spent we spent years complaining that McTominay and Fred don't pick up the midfield runners. And uh, Ericsson there, it's a 1-2 and he's lost his runner. He's got to do better on the defence. It's just starting to open up a little bit now, though. We're finding space in the box as well. It won't be a nil-nil game, that's for sure. Bruno's making a big difference at the moment. The chat's loving it. There we go. They're getting a lot of joy down the right-hand side, you know. If Bruno plays in the Ericsson role, he would provide so much more defensively, says Garage. Well, Ericsson plays on that. Basically, Brighton at the moment are going, are going down Delo's side a lot. Um, and I, I think that that's because Anthony offers more support to wan on the on the other side. Whereas you don't necessarily... We're getting Rashford and Martial on the other side and I don't think they're tracking back as much. Joe Hagen says Rashford needs to track back a little bit more. Brighton aren't stupid. I think that's what they're doing. They're exploiting the fact that we're not covering that side as much. Such a tidy team in possession, Brighton. But they're back on their own half here. With the ball. Jason's a member. He says, but Ericsson can't defend. I think this is why we'll look at something in that midfield in the summer. I think we, you know, I, I like Ericsson, but I don't, I do think we need something a little bit uh, more combative in the bigger games. You can't just leave it all to Casemiro. Which is why I think sometimes Fred has been used in games like this, but obviously there's a, there's an issue with Fred at the moment. Uh, Rashford hasn't worked back to defend twice now and Brighton have made good chances from both. Wonder why he isn't called out by the media, says Luke. Um, 
Uh, Brighton players just gone down injured here. Uh, thanks everyone who's tuning in. Please do subscribe, bottom right hand corner. Uh, thanks for all the super chats and everyone who's getting involved. Uh, to think it was 5 0 um, at this stage in the Newcastle Spurs game, says Winston. Yeah, massive, uh, massive result for Newcastle earlier on. Uh, Gary's put a super chat in. He says, Would you be happy if Man City only win the league but Man United win the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, and finish in the top four? I'd be very happy, Gary. Be very, I'd take that. I'd be happy with that. Um, I don't really care who wins the league. Uh, I'd rather Arsenal won it. But it's more the treble that that worries me, if I'm being honest. Um, March is down here for uh, Brighton. A little bit of a break in the game after 20 minutes. Lee thinks it might be a, a game ender for him. Mick J says that 20 minutes has absolutely flown by. It's, well, it's been an intriguing game. Um, actually, that's what I was going to do, just while we're, just while we're waiting here let's just have a quick look it gives us a perfect time almost halfway through the first half to check the stats 63 percent possession for brighton um we've we've both had a shot on target um our passing accuracy is shit compared to them that's something to look at 84 percent accuracy for them 70 percent for us and they've done nearly double the passes as well i mean look I know what Ten Hag's all about, and you know what Ten Hag's all about, and he ain't going to be happy with that. He's not going to be happy with a team that's done nearly double the amount of passes as is, and our our passing accuracy is 14% worse. We've we've got to be better. Um, we've got to be better on the ball. Our passing's been shit. But having said that, um, I would also say that I've seen a few people in the chat moaning about it. I don't think we're playing possession football today. I think we're playing counter-attacking football today. I think we're looking to be clinical, not dominant. Rashford should get the same grief Sancho does for tracking back. He never does it. Brighton will score from the right-hand side, says Jack. Well, look, we've we've highlighted it. Let's hope it's not the case. But uh, I don't disagree that they are targeting that side a lot. Uh, Rashford's defensive positioning is killing the low, says Julian. Christopher, Delo needs help. And Dej says, we had in the first 15 minutes more chances than versus Sevilla. In all, was Bruno involved? He's so underrated. Thank you very much, Dej. I think Delo's struggling because he's getting doubled up on. Um, and I don't think it's necessarily just because of Rashford not tracking back. I think it's also the side of Ericsson, which people forget. Bruno's just doing up his shoelaces. Um... A few people saying we're back to Ollie Ball. I think sometimes it's just about respect for the opposition, isn't it? Um, you know, would you try and play possession football against Man City? You wouldn't. And they're a good side. Um... Bruno's gone down injured. Well, we never we never ever see Bruno Fernandes go down, so I don't know what's gone on here. I'm hoping it's a head injury and not a leg injury. Oh, no, it is his foot. Is that a mitre ball, says Joshua Bowater? I tell you what, if Bruno's out, we're fucked. Because he never gets injured. Mm. 
we can't lose season over says Scoop. Yeah, we can't we can't lose Bruno. If we lose Bruno, we're fucked. No, you you can't. Um. Someone said there, can we catch a breath? I mean, you can't lose Martinez, Varane, and Bruno. I mean, you've lost half your spine there. You can't you can't have that in a week. It's just bloody ridiculous. He's on his feet. He's on his feet. It's all right. Bruno's a bloody robot. I think he'll be fine. Fred's warming up. It's a bit, well, I've got Spitzer as well. I don't think he's going off. Oh, I don't know. I'm um, just looking at the physio. He's saying to Ten Hag, it's 50-50. It doesn't look good. It's it's not just the player with Bruno. It's it's the influence he has on the team. Uh, sat in front of your man Ricky on the plane back from Malaga yesterday. What a top guy he is. Credit to the United Stands to Steve. Cheers, mate. He's a top guy. He is. Um, now Rashford's just gone down as well. <laughs> well, it's like the bloody plague. What's going on? God, you, we can't we can't keep having this. Looks like it's more abdominal for Rashford here. I think he's caught one in the ribs. Yeah, he should be all right. Probably just winded. Oh, Jesus. This is the trouble. We're dropping like flies, says Anthony. But this is the trouble. We will pick up more injuries. We th you know, people think, oh, we've been really unlucky with Martinez and, and, and Varane. There will be more. He's back on, Bruno. The fact that he can run is a good thing. Keep an eye on him. I'm just watching. Oh, I'm just. I'm watching Bruno at the moment. Uh, I think the frustration that many have is that we have. We would like to see United being the team that dictates the play. Says Alec Miller. Yeah, I think I think that's what Ten Hag wants as well. But I just don't think we're at that point yet. Here come Brighton down our left hand side again. Cross comes in, back post, Matoma's unmarked, takes a wow, what a touch. What a touch by Matoma. But now Wambasaka, player one two. I don't know. Bruno looks like he's going to have to come off. Yeah, he's done. Fucking hell. The thing about Bruno is he will try and carry on. So if he has to come off, he's done. can't believe it. Oh no, he's still here. I think Bruno's injured. I'm, I'm, I'm watching him and I, he doesn't look like he's running freely at all. Esho's just tuned in. How are we doing? We're in the game. You know, it's bit, I'd, I'd say Brighton are on top, marginally. But uh, we're just keeping an eye on Bruno at the moment. And uh, no, he's done. He keeps hobbling. Once upon a time, uh, Wembley pitch was the pitch in the country. Not anymore. The top surface is terrible, says Red, since 1975. When it rains, it pours, doesn't it, says Mario. Lots of people saying Bruno looks done. He looks like he's trying to play injured to me. And we've all been there, haven't we? Five aside on a Friday night. He's not running freely. He doesn't want to give in. But ultimately, it's more damaging to play on, isn't it? He's trying to run it off.
but we know what Bruno is. Casemiro seems different since the red card, says Jessica. I just can't take my eyes off Bruno and, I'm, and, and he's definitely not moving freely. And against a possession team like Brighton, Tell you what, don't stop counting your chickens about um, top four yet. Do you think Casemiro looks like a hedgehog, says Anil, and hoping for a win, but Brighton are a tough to, uh, book to crack. Coco, can you know? To, spooky, I don't know what's all that. Um, oh, that's a good sprint by Bruno there. I've got to stop my fascination with following Bruno's body movements and focus on the actual game. Nice ball into Matoma. He keeps it in. The Lowe's took up a very good position and clears it nicely to Rashford. Martial, lovely play. Bruno wins the free kick. Wants the yellow card. Doesn't get it. Should have been a yellow card because we're in a nice position to break there. Raff, ref's a prat. You're a prat, ref. You can talk into there all you like. You're a bloody prat. That's a yellow card. You're a prat. Idiot. Blatant yellow card, that. It was, a, yeah, because DJ's right. It was a clever foul because it was a yellow card. That's going out for a throw in. That's going to go out for a goal kick. Uh, how are you feeling at the moment? I just think it's been a bit stop start for United. Brighton have had the better of the game. I'm not going to deny it, but. Uh, for us, I think, you know, we've not settled yet, are you? Looking at Bruno, he seems to have settled down now, but we've not settled down as a team. We're definitely playing counter-attacking football. We're, you know, we're allowing Brighton to have the ball. I don't necessarily have a problem with it. I think, you know, you can't run before you can walk, and we're not that team yet. Um, here's Matoma, though. Skips past Lindorf. Good tackle. tackle. Shot wide from Enciso. What a player he looks like being as well. They found another one. Oh, Matoma again. Look at that. Just bursts away from Lindelof. wan with the cover tackle. And then CISO shoots. Probably should have been a corner, actually. Is Matoma wearing a mouth guard, says Cody? I don't know. Joey's got a terrible feeling. I love Ericsson. He's class on the ball, but off the ball he's useless, says Louis. Have a stretch, Mark. I will. I'll, I will take a stretch. Half an hour gone. Nice take by Martial. Pacido fouls him. Yeah, I think that... Um, I think that Casemiro isn't the same player since the suspension, and it's hard to assess why. Do I think psychologically he doesn't want to make the tackles? Do I think that the red cards have bothered him? Do you think that he's carrying an injury? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. But Casemiro is not as dominant as he once was. Um, maybe the maybe the gap. Cross comes in from Ericsson. Headed away. Uh, Christopher says, we're just scared. Casemiro's scared to make the simple tackles. And uh, Joe says, I feel like Brighton's tactics are to try to injure our players. I don't think that's bright. I don't think so, mate. I think that I think they're physical and tenacious. I don't think they're that sort of team, really. Um, I just think they're uh, they're just more at it than we are. It's a massive game for them as well. How are Brighton able to play a high possession game, high line with Dunk at centre back? Are their midfielders better on the ball than ours? Says Alan, Alan Kenny. They just know the system. They know the system, and they're very, very good at keeping the ball. They're very. I know. I, you know. I, I, I know you're watching Brighton at the moment, but 
they're so they're just a very very good footballing side and they'll go anywhere and play football Daniel says this game's got Fred written all over it. Um, I think these sort of games are always a concern and they keep popping up every now and again where defensively it's not good enough to have Bruno, Eriksen and Casemiro. If you're attacking, it's great. But defensively, it's not as strong as it could be. Some disrespect from media. Better players, better manager up the Reds says it's just Danny. And uh, it seems like Casemiro is almost playing conservative because he knows there's a price on his head, says Jake. Uh, Brighton, the better team, says uh, just Keevan. Yeah, I think they have been the better team. I don't, I don't think anyone's going to skirt around the issue there. No, let's trim the, let's trim it down. It's, um, let's trim the fat. The better team is Brighton. Who's like more likely to stop City winning the treble? Us or Brighton, says Alex. I can't, don't, I don't, I don't care about that. Like really. Um, I don't want to not be in a final because Brighton might have a better chance of beating Man City. Talking about that, trim the fat. Trim the grass to make the yard look bigger. 40%, sorry, 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code United Stand, Manscaped. Links in the description or the QR code you can scan as it goes round. Uh, fantastic product. Certainly see, need to see United trimming the grass this summer. It's uh, there's not enough quality. Deserby smells, says Jake. And uh, STH, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, sorry for your super chat. Um, thanks to everyone who's tuning in here. Nice little ball there by Wan Bissaka, but we're, nice play by Anthony. He's got too many players on him though. And Matoma recovering back with the tackle. That's Casemiro. And straight away, it's a yellow card. Straight away. Casemiro is a marked man. Worst tackle on Bruno. No yellow. That's not even a yellow. He gets the bloody ball. I'm dis It's disgusting. Absolute shite. Absolute shit refereeing. Fucking fed up of it. The foul on Bruno from behind him that stopped a breakaway was a yellow card. You can't not give a yellow for that and then give a yellow to Casemiro. It's complete and utter contradictory bollocks. I did, well, what can you say? You can't... Look, people are going, it's a yellow, Mark. It's a yellow. But you're not watching the game. I'm watching the game. You can get, If you're giving Casemiro a yellow, you've got to give the Brighton player a yellow. You can't give one and not the other. There's no bloody consistency. It's ridiculous. Always the same. They're booking Casemiro because it's Casemiro. They're not booking him for any other reason. Like Casemiro saying there, Martial's just been chopped down. Why is it not a yellow card then? So you're basically just targeting me. Why is he not booked Webster there? How's that not a yellow? And Casemiro's is. Same sort same bloody tight same same sort of tackle. That's what Bruno's saying. And that's what Ten Hag is saying. My players getting a yellow card for the same tackle, and you're booking my players. And it's right. There's no bloody consistency. I don't mind Casemiro getting a yellow card, but it's the fact that two Brighton players have fouled people and not been given a yellow. And Ten Hag's going mad and he's right. And, and, and ultimately what that is, Pawson sees Casemiro and goes, oh yeah, we're targeting him. Let's get a card out. It's, 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 it's just checking passports again, Jake. Exactly. He's a marked man. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that Casemiro shouldn't get a yellow. What I'm saying is, in the context of the game, two Brighton players haven't been booked and Casemiro has, for all the same sorts of tackles. It's 
Here's Anthony. Into Bruno. Come on, let's get some bodies in the box. Bruno's just gone down here. He's been caught in the face. Brighton fans aren't happy. It's getting a bit edgy out there. Probably needs it. We probably need a bit of this. Oh, I think he just caught him in the, in the face with his shoulder. I don't think it's a foul. Um, gives me vibes of Oli or Jose period. He was so poor. If Brighton scores, we're done. Technically, I don't know what the hell we are doing, says GJ. Um... All year we have had to beat 12 men every week, so unfair, says Brian. Thanks very much, pal. Thank you very much. I think it probably suits us if it gets a bit physical anyway. Well done, Lindelof. I'll tell you what, I think Lindelof and Shaw have done a good job. Here's Delo. Go on, lads. Go on, lads. Good play, Delo. Good play, Delo. All started from Lindelof bringing the ball out from the back as well. Good to see that. I've been I've been happy with Luke Shaw and, and Lindelof, actually. I think they've done a good job. I've seen Luke Shaw popping up in the midfield as well. I've seen Lindelof doing it as well. They're doing... A, a, it's a lot more... What's the word? Agile. Can we wish my brother Sante a happy birthday? Says Jewel. Happy birthday. Good play by Delo. Corner, Ericsson. Not really got a lot when it comes to corners, you know. We've not really got any height. No Varane, no Maguire, no McTominay. Oh, and here we go. Matoma on the break now. Watch out. Could be a ball out here. Watch that ball through the middle. Get people back. Work hard, work hard. I don't, I don't think corners are going to be our strength tonight. Today. Well, I tell you what, I'm getting pumped up for this. a lot of steppages yes um big props to Lindelof I think he's uh time beside Maguire took away from his playing style says Aaron uh Danny Murphy on commentary being triggered on Martial wearing gloves they get paid for this says Connor you know what you know what these idiots are they think we're still living in the 70s you know it amazes me that we live in a world now where you know it doesn't matter how tall you are. It doesn't matter whether you've got tattoos. It doesn't matter what colour your hair is. You know, we're inclusive. And you've still got people on mainstream media talking about a player wearing gloves. Oh, in my day, we used to turn up in our pants when it was minus six. Yeah, we were, we were proper men, proper hard. I mean, what, does, what difference does it make if a player's wearing gloves? Fucking hell. Always these South African... What, what are we talking about here, Cody? I think we need to block you there with a little bit of xenophobia. We're not having any of that, thanks. Nice. Oh, Ericsson, if we get that ball right there. Anthony's furious. He just wanted it out wide. Why is he wearing, why is he wearing gloves in April? Maybe he's got eczema. I don't bloody know. It's up to him. I couldn't give a shit why he's wearing gloves. Ericsson getting a bit of stick in the chat. Just looks a bit off the pace, doesn't he? Looks a bit slow for a game like this. Good interception by Casemiro. 
Nice ball into Bruno. Square it. Oh, square it, Bruno. Martial was absolutely wide open. Absolutely wide open. Why didn't he square it? Martial's the pass here every day of the week. Good chance. Brighton scouting is the best in the Prem, says Adam. Bad kick, bad kick. Oh, a bit lucky. Casemiro. I worry about Casemiro on a yellow. Just got to be careful. Good play by Luke Shaw off the ball there. You see that clever play by Luke Shaw there, just blocking the run off. What have we got? Some people are finding it a tough watch. I'm finding it a, an intriguing watch, to be honest. I'm not. I'm not surprised about this game. I think some people uh, are getting frustrated because it's almost like here's Martial. Ah, oh, the tried to lob the keeper, got it completely wrong. Um, I think some people. You've got to go for it. Keepers off the line. Danny Murphy's a prat, says David. Yeah, I think some people are getting a bit um, frustrated, but I, you know, I think for me it was, if you understand what uh, what Brighton are all about, you knew they were going to dominate possession. And um, I think coming off after the severe result, I ain't got a problem with the way we're playing. You know, two centre-backs who've never played together before. A front three that's probably not fully match fit, apart from Anthony. Danny Murphy hates Man United. I don't know why you're listening to him, Andrew. I really wouldn't take any notice. He just can't stand Man United. He's not even... I don't think he even pretends that he does. He's just a bit of scouser. Um... Good play, Bruno. Take a touch, Ericsson. Goes wide. Rashi's in. Go on, Rashi. Oh, it's a bit of a heavy bounce. He's still got it in the box. Go on, Rashi. Look for a pass. Who's got a time? Oh, Ericsson deflected. Keeper gets his foot on it. Oh, I was getting excited then. I felt the goosebumps didn't quite come off. Our pressing and distribution is below average to Salim. Um... Louis says, whoever scores first wins this game. What do you think, Mark? Probably a bit too early to say that, but I think... Uh, I'm, you know what? People are moaning a lot, but I think chance creation-wise, we've probably had the better chances. Um, here's Martial. Nice ball. Luke Shaw. Ooh, just over here. Uh, Alex says, I like the hair, but I genuinely see why he's a liability. We can't get into this game is because he can't build from the back. Uh, Alex, do you... Have you... Can I just ask you a question, Alex, right? Because... I'm all for people sort of starting to analyse football, but have you done it for long or are you just listening to Twitter? We can't pass out from the back against Brighton. We can't. We, 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 we can't pass out from the back against Brighton. They're one of the best pressing teams in the league and we haven't got the players to pass out from the back. So um, we are going long and trying to counter-attack from the midfield and from the goalkeeper. We, we, we're not in a position to... Uh, to, to pass out from the back today. Here is Brighton, though. They've got a good 4v4. The cross is good. Lindelof took up a good position. Good header. Cross into the back. Um, half time. Mark, do you remember when Martial had to put on weight to become a number nine? Was it after that injury trouble started because he had to buff up to T2L? No. Um, uh, Martial started to have problems with injuries because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer played him and Marcus Rashford with injuries. Um, half time it is. Um, look, I think there's going to be a lot of um, moaning in the live chat here. Um, I think people will be targeting the usual people. Um, don't worry, I'm just stretching my back out. Um, I'm really genuinely not that worried. Um, I'm not that worried because I'm not that surprised with that half. 
Um, my only concerns is fitness. Are we going to have to sub Martial and Rashford off because they can't play 90 minutes? Casemiro on a yellow card is a bit of a concern with this referee. Um, defensively, I'm pretty happy with the way that we're playing. I mean, look, get Casemiro off, says Will. If Welbeck could have took the tumble there, that could have been a problem. Um, but look, look, let's just start off with this. This is the best place to start, isn't it? Let's have a look at the stats at half time because uh, what can't speak can't lie in relation to those specifics. And at half time, they've had 63% possession and we've never really changed that throughout the game. It's been a consistent. But we've had two shots on target to their one. We've had five shots to their four. Um, they've... Our passing accuracy has been quite poor, but I think those stats to me represent what we sort of predicted would happen in the preview um, and when we were talking this morning. I, I I think that Brighton are, since the Zerbi came in, Brighton have been a very consistent team in the way they play and the players that they pick. They are in the groove. Manchester United this season have been like a roller coaster, you know, and we're not a possession team. So I think if we tried to pass out from the back or tried and played tiki-taka football through Brighton, they'd annihilate us. I think our game plan is to hit the channels with longer balls and try and counter quickly on Brighton. And it's worked a couple of times, to be fair. I think that's the game plan. You might not like that game plan, and I'm sure you don't. But look at the possession stats. We're not trying to get hold of the ball. We are trying to move the ball quickly and be clinical. And I said this, I think we'll get, well, my prediction was we'd win 2-0. I thought Brighton would have more of the ball, but we'd be more clinical. And to be honest, it's not dissimilar to the Newcastle game in the Carabao Cup final. Newcastle looked the better team on the ball, but we were clinical in and around the box. And I think we've had the better chances in that half. So look, if it carries on like this, you've got every right to think that Brighton might win it because they've got more of the ball. But on the other hand, I think, you know, we, we're still creating chances. Um, where, where do I think the problems are? Um, I, look, I personally think, defensively, we've been very good. I think especially big shout-outs to Lindelof and Luke Shaw. You're playing up against one of the best attacking teams in Europe. You know, that stat from Joshua Bowater is true. Um, you're playing one of the best attacking teams in Europe. And... We've not really given anything away. So I think Luke Shaw and Lindelof, and I like the positions they're taking up as well. They're they're actually moving past their their attack line to take up spaces. So I've been very impressed with Bruno. Uh, sorry, with um, Lindelof and Shaw. Bruno Fernandez is a disgrace, diving all over the time, spoiling the flow of the match. How the mighty have fallen sitting back against Brighton. Says Paul. Love to know who you support, Paul. Uh, thanks, Mark, for the content. It's a roller coaster. I want to be on. See you next month. Says Cash. Um, Lindelof's career has been damaged by having to play with Maguire. Always when he places with someone different, he has been solid. Still not a starter for United, says Leon. And love you, Mark, but sometimes it feels like we're a man down in a game like this without a ball playing goalkeeper, says Ola. Mate, you know what? I think you read too much Twitter. You are never passing out from the back against this Brighton side. The, I, I don't disagree that Day is not great at it, but you're not passing out from the back with this Brighton side. The defenders aren't even showing to be passed out from the back. Every time De Gea's hit it long, there isn't a pass on because Brighton are pressing every passing angle really aggressively. So we're not passing out from the back. You would never pass out from the back against this Brighton side. We're not equipped to do it. We haven't got the players to do it. So even if even if you had Costa in goal, we wouldn't do it because they're absolutely everywhere. They're right on us. We're having to kick long and it suits us to kick long. Um, this is not a game to pass out from the back. And I'm all for the conversation about you know, different games and everything like that. But next time De Gea receives the ball, watch where he can pass it because there are three or four Brighton players covering all the back four. There isn't a pass on. So, you know, it's not a game for that and we're not set up to do that. And the reason we're not set up for that is when De Gea gets the ball, the red shirts are moving away from him because they know we're kicking it long. That's coming from the manager. Maybe it's because he hasn't got a goalkeeper who can play out from the back, but we're not looking to play out from the back. They're all moving away from De Gea when he gets the ball because we know we're going long. Um, I just think it's not very pretty to watch United when they're playing counter-attacking football. And as I say, 63% possession shows you what we're doing. We're playing counter-attack. Um, we're not going to be pretty today. So we're just going to have to hope that we're clinical. Now, my worry in the second half is whether we can um, 
how long is how long is Antonio Martial going to last? Because the minute you bring Veghorst on, this game changes massively. How long is Marcus Rashford going to last? Because the minute you bring Sancho on, this game changes massively. We haven't got anything on the bench. I think if we can keep this eleven on the pitch, I mean, look, if I'm being honest, if I had to make a sub, if you had to make one sub, what sub would you make? Let I'll let people get in the chat. If you had to make one sub, who would you make? For me, it would be Ericsson for Fred. Just to get a little bit of bite in the midfield. Because Casemiro is on a yellow card now. So I would take, I would bring Fred on for Ericsson just to give a little bit of bite in the midfield. Because it is a bitey midfield. It is an aggressive midfield. And, you know, Ericsson's just not, you know, he's not as quick as we need him to be. And he's certainly not as physical. We're not going to see that happen. But I would bring Fred on. That's the, that's, that's the only sub I'd make at the moment. My concern is we will see Martial have to come off because he can only play an hour. We might see Rashford have to play when he gets tired. Um, and we, we will get weaker with the subs. Um, that's my concern. But look, I've got to say, Lindelof and Shaw, very impressive. wan very impressive. Um, midfield, it's a bit ropey. I mean, I think Casemiro and Bruno have been OK. Eriksen's been a little bit disappointing. Um I'd like to get us up the pitch a bit. The longer this goes, uh, uh, it's in our favour. We've been here before, says Brian. And um, don't pass from the back. The Brighton players are faster and can score easily, says Blue. Um, and uh, totally agree, Mark. Fred will have points to prove and brings energy. He plays well with Casemiro, says Chris. Don't know whether he'll do it, but um, I'd, I'd certainly like to see us do it if we could. Um, I think he'll keep it the same as he, as he does. But... I guarantee you there ain't no way that Martial and Rashford will finish this game um, in 90 minutes. One of them might, but I don't, I don't, I don't see it really. Um, uh, oh, okay. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. Um, Sancho for Martial. <laughs> My God. Oh, I love the chat. It's so funny. Sancho for Martial. Why? Why is that? Um, competitive first half. Both times teams feeling each other out, says CC. Uh, how about Sabitzer for Martial once he's tired? Gives us an extra man in midfield, says Ansu. And 65th minute, take Martial off and bring Sancho and Rashford up top, says Creighton Empire. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't mind that. I, I wouldn't massively mind it, I think with uh he's ne he's never going to play 90 minutes is he Martial uh, I I can't see that happening um as much as I would like to and and to be honest Martial doesn't look fit and I'm not I'm not sure that uh Marcus Rashford looks fit either but we'll see um what is your problem with Veghorst mm, just just too slow for a game like this you you're playing against the team that can pass and move very quickly and he's just too slow. Hi Mark, this game is a copy of the Newcastle final. Eric's got a system for these types of games, says Alec. Um, everybody saying we would play better with another goalkeeper is nonsense. It's clear as day that Ten Hag wants to avoid losing the ball to the press in our own half. Brighton are trying to get 3v2 and 3v1 situations. That's how they create their goals, says Larry. And Mark, why are we so careful? Love the show, says Ray. Well, I think Larry's absolutely spot on. I mean, look, we're all geniuses in our, in our own skull. Um, but... I've seen a couple of people in the chat talk about if we had a if we had a goalkeeper that could pass out from the back would be fine. Not in a game like this. I don't care whether you've got Edison, Allison in goal. They're kicking it long. Um, our defence is turning its back on De Gea every time he gets the ball. That's coming from the coach. We're not looking to play out from the back because Brighton are playing virtually a front four every time the ball's near our defenders and they're pressing. Um, we can't play out from the back in a game like this. We're not looking to play out from the back in a game like this. Um, we're just... We're looking to hit the long ball. And the reason we're looking to hit the long ball is because we're bypassing the Brighton press with the long ball. That's what we're trying to do. Um, we're trying to get at the um, at their defence um, with the pace that we have, which is why we're not having a lot of the ball. That's why they've got 63%, because we're counter-attacking. Um, McAllister is OK, but they're not the greatest number eight. Uh, we saw, says it's Sir Jason... And uh, I'm finding it very hard to analyse the Brighton players on their performance because you so... 
I, I watched Brighton last week and I could tell you more individually about what Brighton are about. But when it matters, I'm just focusing on United. So I'm not really picking up on individual Brighton performances, if I'm being honest. This match reminds me of our Newcastle match in October. Love watching Anthony tracking back, says David. Thank you very much for your super chat. A uh, few people disappointed in the chat. Look, it's about the result at the end of the game. Who's better, Larissa or Calder Dragon, says Joshua. That's one for the chat. It's about winning the game, isn't it? Um, I don't care if we play like this and we win 1-0 because ultimately I think you've got to respect Brighton and I don't think that um, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brighton is a great idea the way we're playing at the moment. Um, Leon, thank you very much for your super chat. Refs are cowards, says Truth Seeker. I'm hoping that's not going to be something that's going to have a massive impact. I don't think Casemiro should have got a yellow card. I think there was a tackle from a Brighton player on Bruno before. And there was a tackle on Martial after that were both as bad as Casemiro's and neither got a yellow card, but Casemiro did. Um, and why is that? Because Casemiro is a marked man. The referees are just going after him all the time. And I don't, I don't, I don't think it's very fair, but look, he's on a yellow card. I think we need to be careful about that and he needs to be disciplined. Uh, Una says, the BBC hate the Irish. Don't mention a word about Evan Ferguson. Nineke says, there's a missing striker. Doesn't mention a word about Ferguson. <laughs> okay. Um... And uh, Maxwell, thank you very much for that. Just tuned in. How's Rashford's fitness? FPL decision, says Dylan. Um, I think that's... I, I, look, if I'm being honest, I don't think Rashford, Martial look particularly match fit. When did I get this jumper? It's a United Stand uh, jumper from uh, Shopify website, if you want to get it. Link might be in the video description as well. Uh, we do ship them worldwide. Um, I don't care if he wants to give Casemiro a yellow card, by the way. I'm just It's just the fact that he didn't book either Brighton player. Um, it's almost like he sees who the tackle is and goes, bang. Should Eric Ten Hag bring on Fred, says Bag. I'm not the manager. I would like to see Fred in the team. But I'm also talking about the Fred that we saw two months ago. He hasn't picked Fred since early March so there's clearly something going on in relation to Fred that we're not aware of so but I would like to see Fred in the game for a little bit of energy and to support Casemiro in the tackle um Louise said I'd rather see Fred uh, sorry, I'd ra sorry I'd rather see Sabitza than Fred um Fred stopped playing after Liverpool says Nicola was that was that it there you go. Maybe that was it. Um, Casemiro looks angry and worried about something else other than the game. I know it may not be normal, but I would take him off for Sabitza, says Flavio. And poor ref, worried for another Ericsson type of injury again, not handling the game very well, says Alan Noonan. And uh, Simon says, we're not winning this. And yet, I would argue, Simon, that we've had the better chances in the game so far. So... Bloody hell, what's this? A reserves game? What's going on? Oh, it's Man City against Sheffield United. I couldn't believe how many red seats there were. Um, Leon says, I mute the game because I'd rather listen to you. Yeah, it seems to be a sad running theme, whether you're in America, the UK or whatever, but the punditry you get, which fortunately I don't have to listen to, is shocking. Um, Mark, my girlfriend fell asleep during the game. I need an injection of energy. It's a bit set for Ericsson, says Armin. Yeah. Yeah, well, look, I'm not, as I say, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned. I'll be concerned if Brighton scored the first goal. Um, I don't normally agree with it, but somebody said before the game, first goal is going to be the key. And lo and behold, that prediction is actually looking like a very, very wise one because um, I think if Brighton score first, they know... the problem we've got is because we're playing counter-attacking football, if Brighton score first, Brighton can go a little bit deeper. Harry Maguire's hanging around in his tracksuit there. He can't come on. Anthony Heath says, I can't stand Gary Lineker and Alan Shearer. Do you think this United can outplay the Brighton? No. David, and that's why we're not trying to do that. I think if you think we're trying to outplay Brighton, you're on a hiding to nothing. We're not. We're just trying to counter. And uh, 
as I say, I think it's got very similar vibes to the Newcastle game. We just need to get the chances and be cynical. Clinical, not cynical. We can be cynical, but clinical with the chances would be better. Um, got a win today to stop City. And let's go United. City's waiting for us. Let's show them that Manchester is red, says Steve. Hi, Mark. What do you think of Meslier, says Jose. Whoa, 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 whoa. Timer, second half. Wait a minute. And we go. Uh, Nigel's done a super chat. He says, it's ironic that structurally our defence looks better with Shaw, who isn't a natural centre-back over Maguire. You know why it is, Nigel? It's because of um, balance. You've got a left-footed left-back on the left side. Sorry, a left-footed a left -footed left centre-back on the left-hand side and a right-footed right centre-back on the right-hand side. Um, and it just gives you that balance, which you don't get with two right-footers. You seem tired, Mark. I had a bad night's sleep last night. No subs at half-time. I don't think we expected any tyke. I mean, it was just a simple question of if you had to make a sub, what would you do? I wouldn't have made a sub at half-time. I don't think he was ever going to make a sub at half-time. But um, if I had to make one, it, it would be Fred. Brighton instantly on the attack here. Prince says, we always start, set heart, start, start, start off slow in the second half. Um... Well, I'm just happy to see everyone coming out for the second half. There's no fitness issues or legacy injuries that we weren't aware about. Because, you know, sometimes you see those, don't you? Well in, Luke. Well in, Luke. Well in, Casemiro. Nice ball, Bruno. Here's Anthony. Come on, then. Here we go. Break, break, break. 2v2. May as well, may as well go. Go on, then. It's a shame. 2v2. It's a shame. This game reminds me of United versus Arsenal at Old Trafford, says Matthias. Very, cle very clever defending by the Brighton defender there. You think he's in trouble, but he's, put, he's got Anthony on his right foot the whole time. It's a 2v2, and look at what he does. Is it dunk? He's like, I'm keeping you on your right foot the whole time. That's all he does, look. Keeps him on his right foot. Very good defending. Yeah, Dunk just doesn't let him on his left foot. Well in there by Delo. Now here's Anthony. Needs some support. Oh, ref! Ref! Oh my God! How is he not given a foul there? That's absolutely incredible! How is he not given a foul there? They've literally just chopped him to the ground. I can't believe it. How's he not given a foul? Well, the funny thing is, United, United, United fans, United players didn't even bloody appeal for it. So maybe it wasn't a foul, but it looked blatant. Anthony's useless as Ajit. Well, Brighton are on the attack here. Looked like a foul to me. Oh, go on, Delo. God, we've got to defend better here. Rashford, you can't walk back, mate. He's not even in the bloody picture. Anthony's doing all the work. Rashford's not bloody doing any tracking back. What do you think of the Brighton goalkeeper's distribution, says Jose? I've not really been taking any any attention. Well, I don't think we'll get a replay. Well, Rash let's be honest, Rashford's not been in the game, has he? He's, um, he's, he's, ne he's not part of the attack. He's not part of the defence. He doesn't... I don't think he's fit. I don't think Rashford's fit. Uh, 
Um, Delo, the best player on the pitch so far, says Lissandra. I think the back four's played well. I said it at half time. I think Wambasaka and Delo have done a good job. And I think Lindelof and uh, Luke Shaw have been really good as well. Back four, been the positive for us so far. Well, in Lindelof. That's more like it from Rashford. A bit of a, a bit of a. As I said, I think I think you've got to look at some players and say that there is going to be an issue with uh, fitness. Need Fred for the energy. I'm not. I'm not. I'm still not 100 percent sure that that Bruno's right. What a good game, Mark. What can we do better? Says Anil. I think he's uh, taking a piss there a little bit. Good play, Martial. Oh, he gives a free kick. Of course he gives a free kick. How can you give a free kick for that and not give it on Anthony? Friggin' idiot, this referee. How is he giving a free kick for that and not giving it on Anthony? Pull your shirt up, Pawson. I'm sure you've got a Brighton top on. Softer than an ant's fart, that free kick was, and they didn't give it to Anthony. Bloody inconsistent twat. Just all we ask for is a referee that will give one ref... Will give, you know, I'm going to give a foul for this and I'm going to keep giving a foul for this. That's all we're looking for. Is Delo good play? Terrible ball by Delo. Hospital pass. Luke Shaw is going to get booked because of it. Yeah, you're a red shirt. I've got to give a yellow. I'm sorry, Luke. It, you've got a red shirt on. It's got to be a yellow. That's that's the way it works. It was a yellow, to be fair. It's a shame because Delo did really well and then played a rubbish pass, and a hospital pass, really. Gets Luke Shaw booked. Lindelof is five times the defender Maguire is, says Paul. Yeah, we're doing a lot of defensive. We're definitely doing a lot of defence here. I think Brighton have started the second half quite well. Martial does well to defend there. We've got nothing on the bench, have we? This is the problem. I'm looking at that team and I'm thinking it needs something. We've got nothing on the bench. There's a fund fundamental problem in United. Why do we need Fred for the energy? Yet yeah, all City players have the same em energy. Every single player says Christopher. Wow, I think I think you're right, Christopher, but it's only one year of Ten Hag. As I say, he bought five players in the summer. He needs about 15. You can't buy 15 players players can he you know we do we do need some work we play Lindelof again um Man City paying the ref marks as Marin uh so lethargic like they're working 12 hour shifts says Lloyd well some of them did play on Thursday night you know you, you, some of them did play in Spain on Thursday night um can you summarize your thoughts on the game so far we are trying to counter-attack because Brighton are better on the ball and more energetic than us essentially Mark, it, it, it's consistent. Um, it's all one-way calls against United, says Brian. Gives Shaw a yellow for stopping a breakaway, but when Brighton fouled Bruno, stopped a breakaway, they get nothing, says the Connor. What I'm worried about is with every passing minute, you get closer to 65 minutes. And I just think 
he's going to take Martial off of their course, and then I'm like, oh my god. Someone's got their shorts on on the bench. And I think it's Vegost. Look on the bench behind Ten Hag. Someone's got big, massive legs with white shorts on. And I think that's Vegost. Here's Matoma up against Wambasaka. Don't dive in. Yeah, you got him. You got him. You got him. You got him. Well done. One done, Aaron. Go on, Anthony. One, two. Oh. Right, give me a minute. I'm just going to have a pick. I've just seen it. Just, just, I've just missed a save for De Gea. Was it good? I didn't see the save from De Gea. Was it a good save? Oh, I didn't see it. I'll tweet it anyway. Well, back had, well back had a great chance there. Goat keeper, it must have been good. I didn't see it, but uh, on the other hand, it's not great when your keeper's making a great save when you've gone for a piss. Um, could do it. You'd like to see it at the other end. That's what David De Gea does, though. Come on, United. There's still bloody half an hour to go in this game. It's got extra time written all over it at the waves. Don't get why people want a new goalkeeper when we can strengthen the team in other areas, says Isha. It's probably... Oh, Fred is coming on. There we go. Well, well, fair play. We've been talking about this. Fred is coming on. I wonder if it's for Bruno, though. Great minds think alike. We've been talking about Fred. We mentioned it at half time. If I was going to make a change, I said Fred. Many of you said Fred. Just to give us a little bit of combativeness in the midfield. Now, here's Anthony. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing, mate? That's like a fucking pass back shot. Why is he doing that? Fucking composure in the final third, for fuck's sake. He does everything right, Anthony, here. But why are you doing a pass shot? There's no power on it. Look at Rashford and Anthony and Bruno. They're just like, it's just, it's a P-roll of a shot. Exactly, uh, Rocky. I think we've had a few opportunities. Bruno in the first half as well. We've got into good positions. And then lack of composure. Smash and grab here, Mark, says Darren. I'll take a smash and grab. Aaron Wambasaka's playing great, says A11. Ericsson probably coming off. Fred's coming off. I hope it is Ericsson, but it could be Bruno. I 
Oh, I like Anthony. I think he's had a good game. Lovely. What a touch by Welbeck. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. They've got loads of... There's loads of blue shirts in the box. De Gea again. Flips the cross over. He pressed X by mistake. <laughs> he did. He did press X by mistake, Anthony. You need to hit circle. Finesse. Rashford off, Palestri on, says Jack. He's not been in the game. We're carrying Rashford at the moment. Nice ball by Casemiro into Rashford. Look at Anthony's free, Marcus. Get your head up. Ah, he's fucking taking people on again. He's a he's a he's a bloody shadow of him of his actual ability here, Rashford, while in Wambasaka. Go on, keep going, lads. Keep going. Oh, brilliant. Referee, that's a yellow card. Anthony. Oh, bollocks. Ericsson. Take him out. Bruno. Anthony on his right. Puts a decent cross in. Rashford's just take Rashford off. I, he ain't nowhere near fit. Nowhere near. Wambasaka, fantastic run. Should be a yellow card for pulling Wambasaka back. Not going to go back for that though, is he? Because he's a bloody cretin. Ericsson's off for Fred. Would Palestri suit this game, says Scoped? Well, Rashford's not in the game, so... Why has he not gone back for the yellow card for pulling Wambasaka back? I mean, best officials in the world. There are knobheads. They've got no bloody clue. He was pulling Wambasaka back. He can still go back and give him a yellow. Inconsistent Pratt. Ericsson for Fred anyway. Come on, Fred. We need a good performance from you now. Really do. What we got? Still half an hour to go here. Ref's got the mind of a fish. That's whizzed through in the chat. Good point, though. wan and Lindelof had really good games, says MB. Go on, Anthony, run at him. Don't get booked. Give Aaron wan a new contract, says Charlie. The front line doesn't want to do, do what they do with the ball because it. they've hardly seen it all game, says the Connor. Improvement on Wambasaka is crazy at this moment in time. I'd rather him over Delow, says Rocco. I think Delow's doing a good job at left back, mate. I don't think it should be about, you know, trying to put two players against each other. I think they're both doing a job for the team. What a ball by Bruno. Anthony. Oh, better shot. Martial. Delow. Fred. He should have dinked that. He should have dinked that. Sure, Martial. Nice ball. Rashford. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Free kick, come on. Yes, on the edge of the box. Mark, the development of Wan-Bissaka this season defied all odds. First player to get me off my seat shouting on weeks. Gets this guy signed up, says Joshua. Good to see the positivity around that. Uh, welcome to Members Club, Ovis. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the super chats. Uh, foul on Rashford here. Who have we got who can hit it? It's not power, it's it, it's uh, it's curl here. Bruno, it's got to be Bruno on the free kick. No yellow card as well. Fucking hell, just jokes. Where's Beckham? They look too scared of not getting the shots on targets. So they're also tame, says James. 
I love the confidence of Fred to go and stand near the free kick. Lindelof is definitely who the backup should be, says Brad. Martial is useless in the press. He runs up and does the McSaw shuffle to the side of the defenders but never puts a foot in, says Tony. It's funny because Ten Hag says he's really really useful in the press, but you know, you obviously are the coach, Tony. Um Bruno's gonna take this free kick. It's gotta be Bruno. 65 minutes. This second half's going a lot longer than than it feels. It feels like we've been playing for ages second half. We've only had 20 minutes. Still 25 to go. <sighs> Have to score and shut up shop. The subs aren't great, says Fish. Here's Bruno Fernandes on the free kick. Rashford is there. It's not Rashford's range. Hi, Mark. I'm at work, so I can't watch it. How's it been so far, says Alvin? Possession for Brighton, but United have probably been more dangerous on the break. Bruno with the free kick into the wall, second over the bar. Fuck off. We're, we're, we're shit at free kicks. When was the last time we scored a free kick? Sub for Brighton, first sub. And CISO coming off. Well, I don't think we've scored a free kick all season, have we? Uh, hi, Mark. Uh, love the channel. Keep up the good work, mate, says Regard. Thank you very much, pal. Appreciate it. I think thanks very much for your support. Veltman's coming on. Take your time coming off, mate. It's only an FA Cup semi-final with 25 minutes to go. I mean, just, just take a fucking stroll off, mate. Bloody hell. Uh, Paul's been a member for 38 months. Said, good evening. Good evening, Paul. Let's hope we can get this over the line. Ronaldo's free kick was the last, I think. Mark says, subby. Shocking, really. Here's Luke Short. He's had a good game as well. Hold on, Lindelof. Fred. Fred, just play it past the ball. Carl's a big fan of Casido, so he's had a he's a very special player. Overhit by Casemiro. Fish is getting nervous. Uh, Mark, I'll pay £100 if you can rewatch the match and disagree with me on how Martial is pressing, says Tony. I'm not going to rewatch the match, mate. I'll take your word for it. I mean, look, I don't. I think Rashford's been terrible today. So, look, I don't think Rashford's fit. Maybe Martial's not fit. Maybe they're not putting in the work they normally do. I'm not going to disagree with you, Tony. I'm just saying, in general, I think Martial's a very important player in a Ten Hag system. But, I mean, I, 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 I think, arguably... Well, the worst the worst attacker on the pitch for United is Rashford. He's just not in the game. He's um, he looks, as I say, he looks about fifty percent fit. We're having a bit of possession here, though. Is Lindelof needs a pass? Oh, Fred's come on, get tidy. Uh, ben wants to take Martial off for or for who, mate? What we're we gonna put? So we'll take Martial off and put Rashford up front, who's been worse than Martial. So many identical passes as De Gea's against Sevilla, yet nothing happened. All Maguire's fault. Same, some people are dense as Joanne. We're actually having it. Oh, Fred! He can't get. He can't. He can't get his touch right at the moment. I think I prefer it when Brighton have the ball and we counter. Uh, Joshua Bauer says, unfortunately, we know which Fred we've got today. Just needs to settle a little bit. His uh, first touch and pass has been a bit off. A 
Brighton just seem to be letting us have the ball a bit at the moment. That's a bad ball by Delo. Martial, Bruno. Martial's not going to get that. He has. Done well. Twenty to go. I'll tell you what, whoever gets the first goal now. Presume we get a goal. All of a sudden Brighton can't hold the ball because of Fred. Imagine if all players had his energy, says Christopher. Interesting observation. Bring on Veghorst. Please don't bring on Veghorst. Ten Hogs looking a little bit perplexed. Mark, would this game be different if we had Varane and Martinez playing or Ronaldo instead of Martial just scoped? Be a different game. Well, you know what? I think that's a bit disrespectful to Shaw and Lindelof. I think they've done a good job. Obviously, Varane and Martinez are better. So we would be better. But um, Good play by Martial here. That's a foul at last. This should be back for, for the rest of the season. I don't want to see Maguire. This is Brian. I mean, really, that Martial's right. That should be a yellow card because he's Webster's fouled him about three times. And at some point, accumulation has to kick in. I mean, the ref. I don't know whether the referee watches the game the way the way we watch it. He, he, that player has fouled Martial three times, like kicked out at him three times. They're not yellow cards, probably individually, but collectively, he's, he keeps doing the same thing. Uh, Tony James has just gifted 10 memberships. Legend, Tony. Thank you very much. Make sure you give Tony a thank you. Uh, Martial is the only forward playing defensively, says Mavin. I think we've carried Rashford today for whatever reason. I think Eric's probably thinking, you know, he might get me one of those goals. I mean, has he got himself back fitter quicker than he should have done? I don't know. Brighton on the attack. Back into Welbeck. Lindelof, brilliant. And uh, Welbeck fouled him as well. Lindelof, brilliant. He's, he's, been, he's had a cracking game. So far, he really has been superb. Reads the danger. Welbeck takes it into his stride. Lindelof, when the time is right, slips in. Eight fouls against us to their six, and they've not had any yellows, but we've had two, says Red Giant. If I speak... I speak. I'm going to do some keep ups. One, two, a hundred. Well, Beck's injured. Um, look, I, I, I'm not thinking about Spurs or Villa. I'm thinking about this next 20 minutes. But uh, I'd cer I've certainly seen enough. I've seen enough on Thursday night that I wanted Lindelof and Shaw to be our centre-backs. And uh, I've certainly seen enough today against the decent Brighton side to uh, make me very confident that uh, I would love to see Lindelof and uh, Luke Shaw continue uh, as the centre-backs. Uh, Ricardo says that Sancho needs more time on the right. To be honest, probably the reason why he hasn't been so great. 
Um, and have you got any pets? Yeah, I've got a dog. Goldbridge on for Martial, says so Shane. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Danny Welbeck. I don't know whether he's going off. Welbeck. I think he might be because he's being applauded. Yeah. Uh, I've been a member for a year now and loving the work, Mark. Keep it up, says Anthony. Thank you very much, Anthony. Hope you're all doing well, wherever you are. Still nil-nil here. Surprised. I, said, I probably jinxed it. I said this won't end nil-nil. Go on, Fred. Marcy out. Here we go. Showed too much of that, but uh, wan wins it back. Nice ball. Anthony, come on. Take a touch. Have a look. Where do you want to go? Oh, Bruno took it off the foot of Fred. Okay, now we're just not getting that chance. It will go to penalties if it's level after extra time. We, we can get extra time. 15 to go. Oh, I've got a cat as well, Dari. You're right. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> you can tell what I think about cats. Yeah, we have got a cat as well. Brighton have gone into their shell a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm wondering if it is because of Fred. But, um, yeah, Brighton have gone into their shell a little bit. We've had a better last 15 minutes. I, haven't, I, I used to have a hamster. I haven't got one now. <laughs> I never had a hamster. Um, that's it. Put the shift in. Good play, good play. Go on, Delo. Rashford, get your legs going. Get your legs going. That's a, it's got to be a yellow card this time. He's just clattered um, Delo. Got to be a yellow. Has he booked him? Is he booking him? I don't think he is. I can't believe it. He has not booked him again. I mean, it's a blatant red yellow card. can't believe he's not booked him for that. It's, I mean, it's beyond a joke now. It's beyond a joke. Awful referee. Absolutely awful referee. He's really bad. You know, you can understand Ten Hag's frustration. Whatever, whoever just said X Hamster Bridge is a legend, says James. That's, actually, it works quite well, doesn't it? Refs are owning owing Brighton back from the Spurs game, says Chris. I've never thought of it like that, yeah. I think this is probably I mean I hope he's gonna score, but I and, and I don't actually blame him. I think it's a fitness thing, but I think this is Rashford's worst game of the season. We've just been carrying him all game. Oh he's He's not booked him again. Webster's fouled Martial four times. Four times. I can't speak.
It's incredible. I hope the F I hope the FA look at this. I can't I just can't believe what 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 I'm watching. I don't normally really focus on referees that much, but he's abysmal. He's absolutely abysmal. Apparently the trick to not getting booked is to fake injury. Brighton's got it down, says PT. Um, where are the cards? The ref situation's unreal, says Jessica. I just can't believe it. Webster's fouled Martial four times now. Not had a yellow card. He could have been booked for two. Casido chops the low down, pretends to be injured, doesn't get a yellow card. wan got pulled back and he played it on and then didn't go back for the yellow card. I wouldn't mind, but we've had two players booked for one tackle. I don't want to moan about Brighton because they've had some bad decisions, but come on. Well, it looks like we're going to extra time here. Uh, player ratings are coming out. The trouble that Ten Hag's got is he's got Marcus Rashford, who's clearly not fit. He's got Martial, who really probably shouldn't play more than 90 minutes. And then he's got a bench that's got people like Veghorst, Alanga, Sancho and Pellistri on it. Bruno, come on, come on, move it. Tripped him off the ball, ref. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's making it up as he comes along. He is absolutely, mate. Craig Pawson, my book of refereeing. Basically, I change the rules as the game goes along. Fucking idiot. I'm telling you now, I'm sorry to swear, but he, this is just a joke now. It's an absolute joke. He's absolutely terrible. He's confusing himself. Oh, God. Brighton on the attack. De Gea. De Gea. Good saves. Um... These refs need to be replaced by AI. It's unbiased as Mr. Dark. Uh, links in the video description if you want to uh, do your player ratings. Mark every player out of 10, being, 6 being the average. Having said that, might be a little bit early because we could be heading to extra time unless we're going to get a late winner from one of these two sides. Um, nil, nil here. As things stand. I'd say at the moment, unless we get some late drama, it probably is going to go to extra time. <sighs> Substitution. I can't see who it is. It's Sancho. Thank God it's not bloody... What's his name? With all due respect, I don't want Vegas to come on. I think it's got to be Sancho for Rashford. Tackle the ref, says Blur. He probably wouldn't give a yellow card for it, really. You could probably two-foot him and he wouldn't book you. Especially if you're a Brighton player. If you breathe on him with a red shirt, it's a yellow card. Um, right, this is going to be very interesting. Sancho's coming on. Um, not sure for who. I feel like... Hold on a minute. See what happens with the free kick. I feel like we're getting absolutely dominated. We've got no composure on the ball and we keep hitting long balls over the top. What was the plan? Says Nate. Yeah, that's that was the plan. Counter attack. <laughs> I 
Well, he can't take Anthony off. Martial. Must, must be pure fitness. Must be. Because I don't think I wouldn't. Took, I would have took Rashford off, really. I, I mean, I, I don't. But I don't. I'm not party to what the fitness team is like. To me, Rashford's not been very good. But maybe he's got more energy in his legs. Mott says Sancho's a bad idea for a game where we need fighters. And to be far, to be fair, Rashford up front's not a bad idea because he's not working hard anyway, is he? He's not working back. So stick Rashford up front and just hope for a ball in behind. Rashford's gone down injured now. I mean, this would be bloody typical when we just sub Martial off. Come on, Sancho. Have the game of your life, says Darren. What are we thinking then? Penalties. Oh, I don't want penalties. Uh, commentator just said it's good. Ref's been with uh, consistent with the yellow card, says Hader. And Sancho can, can't, can find a pass. Hopefully what we need, says uh, Chris. Thank you very much. Well, here is Sancho. He's got an overlap with Delo if he wants it. He uses it. Delo, not a great cross. Fred into Sancho. Goes for a shot over the bar. Will be a corner. We're not going to score from a corner. We've got no bloody height. So Bruno will take it. We've got literally no height for corners. Um, I shouldn't be looking at my phone really because you never know. But uh, I don't fancy us from corners. In it comes. And lo and behold, Brighton win it. And every time they win it, they seem to end up with Matoma on the break from it as well. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, by the way. We're only 20 subscribers away from 637,000. So please subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner. Get involved with the United Stand. Remember, we are live straight after this with my match reaction and player ratings. Then we're in the studio for the fan forum. Uh, we're live every night, 8 o'clock every morning at 7 at 10 as well. Get rid of it. Mm, corner for Brighton. Concede now and you're fucked, basically. It's over. And they have got height from the corner. And they've not had many corners. Oh no, they have. They've had five. Webster and Dunk. Uh, Casemiro and Luke Shaw are the players that have been booked for Manchester United. Here it comes. Rashford heads it. Sancho clears it. Henry says the ref is Kevin Friend in disguise. No, it's just Craig Pawson. He's not a very good... He's, he's rubbish as well. He's, he is rubbish. He's rubbish. minutes of nil-nil football bloody hell it's tense isn't it that's what it is it's just tense yeah it goes extra time and then if it's still level it's penalties Matoma here get rid of it Lindelof I don't want to jinx it but I feel with Lindelof and Luke Shaw today they've just not put a foot wrong 
And uh, you know what? Goals and extra time count, but I'm looking at the 90 minutes here. And uh, 90 minutes against this Brighton side, if we can do it, a clean sheet's really good. Three minutes of added time. Oh, that's another bloody corner as well. I don't like corners against the team that's good in the air. Danny Dorito. Sancho plays. <laughs> I can't read that, Danny. Uh, needless to say, he thinks Palestri should have come on. header one but it's over the bar that time oh, I need a stretch I'm getting all bloody nervous here I'm gonna tidy up a little bit put me put my jacket back where I found it we're definitely going extra time that's for sure Lots of love for Lindelof in the chat, which is great to see. I think Luke Shaw's played very well as well. wan -Bissaka. It's been a... I mean, it's wan -Bissaka against Matoma here. It's been a very interesting battle. He's got to be careful. Ref. He's finally going to book somebody. He's going to book Matoma. I mean, that is literally what Casemiro got a red card for, by the way. But it's Casemiro, isn't it? It's out of control. It studs up. It's reckless. That's a red. I'm sorry. That's a fucking red. Studs up, out of control. So uh, this is what I mean, it's inconsistent, isn't it? Because Casemiro didn't even do that and got a red card against Southampton. It's just certain certain things they just don't bother about. If you're not wearing a red shirt, we won't bother with it. He's, he's out of control, his studs are up, and he misses the ball. I don't want to see a red card for that, but ultimately I've seen red cards for that. I, I, just, I just don't... But they won't get... They won't, I bet they won't even mention it on TV. They won't mention it on the radio. They won't mention it at all. He's out of control, his studs are up, it's reckless and he misses the ball. I mean, how many more boxes do you want to tick? If you think that's a red, mate, I suggest watching a different sport. George, I, I don't need to watch a different sport, mate. We've got 50,000 people watching us on here, so I think we're probably doing all right. But what I'm saying to you, George, is you've spent £10 to be a prat because we've seen red cards given for less than that. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying studs up, out of control, reckless. Do they not tick the criteria for a red card these days? I don't know because the referees are so bloody inconsistent. But what I am telling you is that tackle by Matoma is worse than the red card that Casemiro got against Southampton. Absolutely. Clip them both together and tell me what's the worst tackle because Casemiro actually wins the fucking ball. Are we sure the ref's not a Brighton kit under his? Useless, says Danny. So, George, you can come on and say, I don't want to see Matoma getting a red card for that. I'll put my hands on my heart and say, I don't think it is a red card. I don't think it's a red card. But what I'm saying is, and this is where everybody gets pissed off, I don't think that's a red card, George. I do not. But what I'm saying is, he's out of control, he's stretching, his studs are up, he's reckless, and he catches Casemiro late. How is that not a red card then? But Casemiro can win the ball against Southampton with his studs, roll over the top and catch the player and get a red. How, how, that, literally, George, talk to me. How can that be a red card for Casemiro for winning the ball 
but studying him afterwards to not winning the ball and studying him. It, it doesn't make any sense. So that's what I'm saying. It's, it's the inconsistency. I don't think either of them are red, but look at the Southampton issue. Look at that. Um, George, none of us who played the game in the 90s wants a red for that. We want more physicality. We want consistency, though. It's exactly it, Butter. I don't want a red card from Matoma, but what I'm calling out is the bloody inconsistency. And I think the referee's been shit anyway. But look, the game's not been great. It's been very frustrating. I think tempers are running high. Frustration is running high because ultimately, you know, 90 minutes, Bruno's clearly injured. He's got ice on his ankle. Uh, Eugene says the TV commentators are saying they're impressed with the ref's consistency. Bloody hell, what are these clowns? Anti-United, Eugene, that's all it is. Um, thanks for Super Chat, Dave. Always going to be a tough game. Look, I can say it now, the 90 minutes are up. Um, standout players for me. I just want to say whatever happens, um, defence has been brilliant. And they have... going to get tense now though uh, man of the match for me if I was doing it now Lindelof or Wambasaka. I mean De Gea has made a bloody brilliant save as well I mean that's a goal isn't it let's be fair but um, I think Wambasaka has been brilliant especially because he's got the hardest job on the pitch Matoma is Brighton's best player and uh, I don't think Matoma's had a bad game I think sometimes you can put two good players together and they can both have a good game. And it's been a joy to watch. Matoma against wan has been a joy to watch. And uh, I think wan has been our best player. I think Lindelof's been brilliant. I think Luke Shaw's done well. I think delo has been good. Um, you know, obviously De Gea's made the save where we needed him to. I've been, we've been disappointing in the midfield. I'll, I'll admit we were disappointing in the midfield. Um, and I think we were disappointing in the attack. I took Anthony off for Sabitzer. I, I, I don't I really don't get it. I mean Rashford's got to score because he's done sod all. We're literally carrying him. Brighton have twenty players, United can't win a ball, says Henry. Um they should have only one guideline for red card. Was it a red if Casemiro did it and decisions will be consistent, says Savish. Um It's better we went out of Europa League, we don't have legs to compete, says Manoj. Um let me just uh, stop the clock here and get ready to go again. Oh, do you want to flip the coin, Bruno? I'll flip the coin. Oh, it's a head. What do you want to do? I don't know. I've never done it before. We'll, we'll just play. We'll just try. I've got another coin. I've got a yellow card. Look, I found my yellow card. Um, anyway, let's go. Let's go. I think this season has finally caught up with us. We look absolutely spent. Lindelof, man of the match. It's Alec. Thank you very much for your super chat, Alec. <sighs> so much more games to play, you know. We've still got to go. Spurs Thursday. Villa Sunday. Brighton the following Thursday. Can't remember who we've got at the weekend after that. It's relentless. And it has really... You're right, it has caught up with us in recent weeks. Um, it better went to... Uh, we did that from Manoj. God. Even I'm tired now. It has been. Uh, okay, so no pace besides Rashford now. Guess game plan is through balls or long balls to Rashford, says Paul. I don't know why we've subbed Anthony. Bruno's gone on the wing. Sabitzer's gone into Bruno's role. The reason Sabitzer is on because of our bad midfield, playing for penalties, I reckon, says Adam. Shocking sub. What did I miss? Man of the match, Wan-Bissaka, says Christopher.
Well, I suppose at the end of the day, you're never going to take Casemiro off. You're never going to take Bruno off. You're never going to take Rashford off. And you've already took Martial off and Eriksen off. So Anthony is therefore, by the process of elimination, has to come off because he won't take Rashford off. Really, he should take Bruno off, shouldn't he? But he doesn't want to take Bruno off because obviously Bruno's the captain. So... I mean, Sancho's not really had an impact yet. Rashford's not had an impact all game. Robert, thanks for your super chat. Oh, come on. Rashford and Martial level on smiles tonight. Must have been a fitness decision. Love the show, Mark. Let's get this W. Love from Rhode Island, says Noah. No, I agree. I, I agree with you on that one. I think um, we don't know what the uh, situation is with fitness. Um, Matoma intercepted by Lindelof again. What a game he's had. What a game he's had, Lindelof. Oh, Fred, way too weak. It was a bad ball by Sancho, though, but Fred's way too weak. And he's there to win it back. Lindelof there. Here comes penalties. Long way to go, sir. Yeah, I don't want... You know what? Actually, I don't want penalties. Hey, it's me, Ryan. I do not want penalties. I mean, the fact that you go out of a tournament that we really want to stop Man City in on penalties. I'd fancy them to win on penalties as well. Sanchez is a bloody monster. I don't fancy his on penalties. I mean, that De Gea has never been good at penalties. Noah, welcome to the Members Club. Rahul, thank you very much. Ricardo says, all I'm going to say is if this goes to penalties, we're screwed. I don't think Bruno's going to play against Spurs on Thursday. Brilliant by Delo. Good covery by Delo because they were in there one-on-one. -on -one. We're starting to just get a little bit tired here. Good play by Delo here. He covers for Luke Shaw, who's out of position really well. That's what you want. That's what you want. We will lose on penalties. Our legs are too tired, says Blake. We might not get we might not get to penalties at this rate. Brighton have got the more en more energy. I think since Anthony's gone off, we seem to have, we just it's just bouncing back. It's like hitting a brick wall. We can't hold the ball up. We've lost that outlet on the right hand side. Bruno can't run. I do wonder why we've took Anthony off. He's not injured. He was an out ball, Anthony, you see. I'm setting my alarm for penalties. See you then, says it's just Danny. I wouldn't count your chickens on it yet. Matoma went to football school, but they forgot to teach him about Man United. Let's go, says B4. Shades says it's idiotic to take Anthony off instead of Rashford. Pure stupidity. We've just lost. Um, we've lost the out ball, haven't we? We, you know, Bruno's not quick. Sancho's not quick. We're not, we've not. We've not been able to play through the middle all game, and we just. We've lo We look like we've lost complete and utter. control again Brighton are so disciplined as a team 
there's no fat. Good battling by Lindelof. He's booking him for that. I can't believe. He's booking Lindelof for that. Like you've not you've not booked Kevin Webster for four fouls on Martial. And you're booking Lindelof for one on McAllister. Both centre-backs on a yellow. We seem to have lost the ability to attack now. I don't know what that substitution was all about, but it's just not working. Sabitza into the midfield and Bruno to the right, which means we've got no pace in the team at all on the flanks. And Rashford's basically been running round, jogging round, injured all game, it feels like. So we're just it's just Brighton relentlessly attacking us at the moment. Just don't seem to have an out ball. Good play by Sancho. Go on, get the get the get the burners on. Here we go. Bit of space down the left. Give it to Delo. Give it to Delo. Back to Sancho. Here we go. Come on, give him some help. Cross is good. Oh, Sabitzer flicks the header wide. And Veghorst has won it at the end. Imagine that. I'd love it. No, he just it's not a bad chance for Sabitzer. He's just not got his head on it right. He's good in the air, Sabitzer, isn't he? Boring game, says William N. Oh, well, here we go. Watch out for Brighton. They've got numbers here. Put the shift in, Sancho. That's it. Good cover. Good cover, Sancho. That. Like it. Like it. That's what you want to see. That's it. Intelligent. Good. How can this ref be so biased so they not review these games afterwards, says Brian. Time to put Maguire on for penalties, says Ray. Yeah, Maguire's suspended, but I presume it was a joke anyway. What's your penalty lineup? I still not even going to think about penalties yet. Ant. Good ball by Rashford into Rashford. Lay it off to Sancho. Sancho. There it is. Shoot, mate. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Fred misses the shot. It was offside anyway. He's gone for these offside. That's on Rashford, isn't it? Oh. He's offside as well. Put your fucking flag up earlier next time, you prat. To be fair, he's doing what the rule is, isn't he? I played on just in case I got it wrong. No, he's he's right not to put his flag up earlier in them circumstances because if he gets it wrong and then we scored from it, he's an idiot. Lovely ball into Matoma. Stand him up. Lindelof's on a yellow card. This could be it. Oh, he got away with it there. That turn of pace from... Mat I can see Matoma in a Liverpool shirt. Do they need him? I can see him in a Man City shirt, actually. He's got that turn of pace, that low centre of gravity. I can see him in a Man City shirt, Matuma, Matoma. But then again, then again, they've already got Grealish, haven't they? So, And Silva, and Foden, and Mares. Oh, here we go. End of the road. End of the road. Wambasaka's coming off. And Bruno. I don't get these subs. I really, I do not get these subs.
Why take Anthony off if you were going to take Bruno off anyway? So, it can only be fatigue for Wan Bissaka, can't it? It can't. It, he's, he's arguably man of the match, so it can only be it can only be fatigue with Wan Bissaka because um, Delo's gone to right back now. Sancho's gone right wing. Rashford's gone left wing. I mean, to be honest, that might give us a little bit. In, in a way, it makes us better down the flanks, worse down the middle with the, their course. I just don't know why we took Anthony off. We took Anthony off to put Bruno on the right to take Bruno off ten minutes later. I just would have kept. I would have took Bruno off at after uh, uh, ninety minutes. I mean, Bruno takes penalties. Mm, Casemiro stuck on the ball here. Just do your jobs. Do your jobs. Well done, Lindelof. Uh, sorry, well done. That was Delo. Nice ball. Here we go. Here we go. Sancho, come on, play the ball. Nicely into Fred. Come on. Back post. Back post, Fred. Back to Sancho. Oh, it's a good cross. Fred's right to shout. Bruno had a limp with all the minutes he's put in. His hamstring might start to soften up, says Butterpants. That's what I mean. I'd have took him off for Anthony. I would have kept Anthony off and took Bruno off. Malassia. Shoot for fucks. Oh, what's the pa What's wrong with your bloody passing, you prats? I don't think this is going to penalties. I think both teams are getting stretched. It's getting stretched here. Stretch Armstrong. Who's captain? Don't know. Fred is looking at Veghorst here and saying... Oh, he's nowhere near it. He's nowhere near it. Fred's put it in the right area. He's not happy, Fred. No smile on his face now. Sancho really needs to step up, says time. And if this, without two defenders, we need two more, says Mark Rogerson. When the team gets leggy, bring on Veggie, says Ollie. I, I, I actually feel sorry for anybody who has not muted the BBC commentary. I don't know how, and I'm not saying this just so you watch the watch along. I don't know how a Man United fan could put themselves through a match with Danny Murphy commentating on it. He's a scouser. He's a Liverpool player. He can't stand Man United. He's not. Gonna, he's always. He's well known for bitterly hating Manchester United. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't listen to him. Tell me the bloody weather. Because he'd make even if it was sunny in Manchester, he'd say it was raining. He's absolutely painful. I, I can't, I can't understand why he wouldn't mute it anyway. Terrible commentator on Man United. He's absolutely terrible. Well done, Fred. Here's Sabitzer. Come on, please, please, Sancho, Rashford. Oh, what a save by Sanchez. It deflected. I thought it was going in and it was a good save. This is why Rashford's on the pitch. How close was it? Rashford gets the shot, deflecting. Good save. The, de the deflection was the thing that made it into a decent shot, to be fair. Uh, Fred's looking at Beckhorst saying, can you believe it? We play for Man United. It's unbelievable, says Nate. Uh, Veghorst is the Maguire of strikers. Well, we have got a bit of height on the pitch now, and his name is Veghorst. Luke Shaw's going to take the corner. Rubbish. Again, corners have been rubbish today. Well won by Fred. Sabitza does well. That's not going anywhere. Still only on. I'll tell you what, still got another 15 minutes to go here. 
Still another 15 to go. Penalties could be coming up for a place in the FA Cup final for Manchester United. I would never have said this would have been a draw. Never in a million. And that is half time of extra time. Thanks everyone who's tuning in, by the way. Please do subscribe. Bottom right hand corner, we're really close to 637,000. We're also 15 minutes away from penalties. Bottom right hand corner to subscribe. I don't understand the subs the last couple of weeks, says Stephen. Look, I'm a big fan of Ten Hag, so I'll try and explain the subs for you. They don't make any sense at all. Um, but I think a lot of it comes down to energy. What's in your legs? Because I think Bruno's injured. I think Martial can't play 90 minutes. So those two, I would never make those subs. But I think Martial can't play 90 minutes and Bruno's injured. Anthony and Wambasaka make no sense at all because they're two of our better players. You could argue that Wambasaka's man of the match and Matoma is dangerous. So why take Wambasaka off? I presume Anthony and Wambasaka must also be spent energy wise. Um, Look at Maguire at the back there and Bruno's doing all the talking. Danny just got told off by the other commentator for moaning about rolling ball free kick being pulled back. Rules are rules, Danny, says James. And if the Glazers goes, bring that garbage set piece coach with them. Useless, says Reeves. Um, it's amazing that on BBC National TV, you have a commentator that's a Liverpool fan on a Man United Cup semi-final, who was completely and utterly against us. It's amazing, isn't it? But, you know. Bruno the captain. Yeah. Yeah, well, look. I don't want penalties. I'm terrified. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I don't want penalties. I think we'll lose on penalties. I really do. I don't. I love De Gea, but I don't think penalties are his thing. And I think Sanchez is an absolute animal. Let's get ready for the second half. There we go. 15 minutes. Would you take Matoma over Sancho, says Dave? Well, only an idiot wouldn't. Uh, in Danish TV, we use Jan Molby, another ex-Liverpool player. He's a Prat, says Zen. Honestly, this season has made me feel like at least 60% of the refs in the Prem need sacking, says Sam. And just wanted to say thank you for the content and just think we could see a penalty shootout featuring Veghorst, says Smiling. You know, my problem with Veghorst is he doesn't hit the ball very hard. I, I don't know whether he'll meet... If Veghorst takes a penalty, I'm worried whether he can reach the goal. I put on Spanish commentator and don't understand what he's saying. Can't stand the scouser, says Max. Absolutely fighting like legends, these boys. Let's support them, says Nick. I just want to, uh, Nick, I just want us to find a goal. I don't want penalties. I don't think we've even got good penalty takers. I'm looking at it. Casemiro can take a penalty. I presume Sabitzer can. Rashford can. Sancho. And then probably either Veghorst or Fred. Also, taking Bruno off now, you don't have your best penalty taker. I think the fact that Ronan, I think the fact that he took Bruno off is because Bruno basically can't run anymore. Prediction, United to win 10-9 on penalties, says Jay. We've got to get there first. The way the game was stretched in the last 10 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't go to penalties. I can see a goal. The low can take a penalty as well, yeah. Uh, worst pan commentary I've ever heard, says James. Moaning about Bruno and calling out all the United players, says James. Thank you very much. Here we go. Is Brighton. Well done, Fred. Well done, Fred. Good shot. The hair does well. Good play by Fred. Made it difficult for him. Oh, God, I'm, get I'm getting cold here. You know why I'm getting cold? Because I'm getting nervous. Come on, on the train. Warm up bridge. Warm up bridge. Standing on your tiptoes, jogging on the spot. Exercise is good for you. Sitting on your ass is not. Come on. If you could get one, cost not an issue. McAllister or Casido, says Mike. Well, we'll do a poll for you if you want it. He asked for it. 
I know what I'd go for, but I will not ruin your poll. Little poll for the air. If you had to sign, if you wanted, if you could sign one, McAllister or Casido, which would you go for? Is Sancho? Come on, please, please. Is the low needs some support up against Matoma? Does well, puts a cross in back post. Rashford's not going to get that. <sighs> I don't know whether the Brighton fans look the same, but just looking at the United fans in the crowd, they're looking a little bit apprehensive. Probably thinking about the late finish and uh, being in London at uh, 8 o'clock at night on a Sunday. It's a long way home if you don't win. Of course, with the flicked header, but give him a pass, give him a pass, give him a pass. It's Fred. Still in our own half. Malassia. Top four and let rebuild commence in the summer, says Ben. It's not over yet, Ben. I'm not giving up on this. Ten minutes to go. You don't give up. You never give up. That's got to be ours. It's got to be ours. Come on. It's, I, I know how this works. You get to this point of extra time. I used to say it in the World Cup. If a game goes to extra time. Ooh, decision to make. No, he's not going to make it. Rashford could have been through one-on-one. -on -one. He's got to give a red. Well, this could be a big, big thing. I mean, a red card won't necessarily help us at this stage. Murphy commentary is like Neville's for Arsenal, says Archie. I don't know what's going on here. It's got. I think it's probably going to be a yellow. And he's given an offside anyway, I think. I don't know. What What did he do? Give the foul against us. Or did he give, give, give an offside? It's almost 4am. We better win, says Lales. It's going to penalties, says Elliot. Well, yeah, I think for the neutral, when it gets to extra time, you almost want a uh, penalty shootout, don't you? Good play by Delo. Oh, he's gone again. He's trying to get Rashford in again. Lovely take by Rashford. Go at him, Marcus. It's 1v1. Oh, please. He just shoots wide. Rob says, my birthday tomorrow, so hopefully we can get a good result so I'm not pissed off for my birthday. Rob, oh, I hope so, mate. 2am in Perth. I'm getting tired, says Jarbar. You'll, you'll wake up for penalties. No, I just didn't get it on target there, Rashford. Gets the yard, just doesn't get the connection. Flax in Perth, very tired. Penalty shootout, 10 minutes away. Here we go. Veghorst, wait. Wait, what are you doing, Veghorst? He's so bad. You've won the bloody ball back, not under pressure, and you pass it to a Brighton player. Oh, God. How does he find a Brighton player from there? If only we had a striker that could stay fucking fit. I mean, to be honest, Harry Kane would be very welcome. 
Somebody who can stay on the pitch for 90 minutes who's actually a striker would be great. Because the drop-off from taking Martial off for Veghorst is just... It's like a bloody... Falling off a bloody cliff. Great interception by Luke Shaw. Veghorst is playing Quidditch as Butterpants. Matoma, someone's got to go to him. They are... Oh, ref! That's, that's a... That's a second yellow. He's on a yellow. That's a second yellow. That's a second yellow. I'm sorry. That's a second yellow. He's got to go. 100% second yellow. Why is it not given? Oh my God. How is he not looking at that? This is an outrage. Absolute outrage. He absolutely takes fucking the hair out. And he's on a yellow card. How's that not a second yellow card? Watch this. He's fucking mad. He's wild. He's absolutely wild. Look. He just... Oh, God, I can't get my head on this. I can't get my head on this. He's on a yellow card. He misses... Fucking the ball and takes the player out. And he's not going to book him. He'll probably take a penalty in the penalty shootout. I don't... I can't get my head around what, what I've watched today. He's making the bloody rules up as he goes along. There's someone in the chat saying it's never a foul. Have you ever watched the game of football? He tries to win the ball. De Gea wins it and he clatters De Gea. It's accidental. Oh, yeah. Accidental's not a yellow card, is it? Oh, break somebody's leg, but if you don't mean to do it, it's absolutely fine. Fucking hell. We're living in a world of I like Matoma, so it shouldn't be a second yellow card. I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless about that. I've never seen a more blatant yellow card in my life, and he doesn't give it because it means he's have to send him off. Fucking hell. Well, look, Brighton have been robbed all season and I've been a big, 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 big shouter of that. But it had to be Man United where the referees decide to share, you know, to, to right their wrongs. Fucking unbelievable. Play the game and play it properly, for God's sake. United 85, why didn't anyone appeal for the decision? Well, actually, I'm disappointed with the United players for not actually saying something about it. That's that's mentality that is. They should Bruno would have been all over that. Go on, Beghorst. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. That's a that's a red. Could have killed him. Is the FA out for us again? Says uh, Sumi. And uh, as a neutral here, it would be harsh. Bright. Why would it be harsh? Watch what he does. He tries to win the ball. De Gea gets there first and he follows through and injures the player. It's a yellow card every day of the week, mate. You can't say it's not a foul. He doesn't get the ball and catches the player. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not talking about it again. You, you're being thick on purpose. 53% um, would go for Casido. 47 would go for McAllister. That's closer than I thought. I would go for Casido. Um, he acted like he was hurt, so no foul. What a joke, says Brian. Again, Casido did that in the first half. What a shit cross is that? What the fuck is that? 27th minute of extra time and we're putting in a cross like that from a dead ball. Fucking joke. I can see what's going to happen today. I can see it like, a, like, like I can see this match. You can see it. It's written in the stars. We're going to get screwed. And you know Sanchez, he's bloody massive. That Brighton goalkeeper's huge. Casemiro. Good shot, good save. Fucking three minutes to go.
Here's Sancho. Rashford. Casemiro puts the cross in. I wouldn't put a cross in. It's like putting a cross in in FIFA. I wouldn't put crosses in against Brighton. I just wouldn't bother. Keep it on the put it. Keep it on the deck. Oh, come on, Man United. I need to watch City put you down, says Bry. Thanks very much, Bry. Uh, thanks, everyone who's tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner. I don't know whether we've hit 637,000, but thanks for tuning in. Bottom right-hand corner to subscribe. Um, it'd be a horrible way to lose it now. Matoma down that side. Casido. Oh, God, Fred, thank God. Thank for Fred there. I thought it was just going to land on the Brighton player's head in the box. Malassia, stay with him. What a run. Side netting, fucking hell. What a run that was. March. Fred and Malassia. Luke Shaw comes across, does his job. Not, not, not from this. Veghorst wins it. That's it. Get out. Everybody out. Go on, push, press, press, push. That should be it. How long are you going to add on, ref? Man of the match? Don't know, Lindelof maybe. Lindelof for us. For them, I don't know. I've, I found it very hard to... Um, Keep an eye on Brighton because um, it's hard when you're emotionally invested to, to to assess the opposition. I just I've not really been able to say. So maybe it was Casido. I don't know. I mean, he's had a good game. Come on, Sancho, there's a chance here. Play the pa there's a pass to Fred. Fred just wants it. Too many touches. Too many touches, Sancho, there. That's not the time to be clever and start playing little hold-up street football. Just play it to Fred. He's off. March has played very well for Brighton. Luke Shaw with the cross. Oh, terrible. That's it. Penalties. I'm just going to say to you right now, I don't fancy us on penalties. I just, I, I just do not fancy Man United on penalties. Two reasons I don't fancy us on penalties. I know next to nothing about Brighton, but I don't think we've got enough players who believe to score penalties. And I think Sanchez is a better pe penalty stop, stopper than De Gea. So I, I don't fancy us now. Um... You know, you've got to you've got to believe. You have got to believe, but I don't fancy us on penalties because I think Sanchez is better than De Gea at penalties and I don't see confidence in our players. Um, I don't see many... It's, it's about this. Mentality. It's about this. And we've seen this season at Liverpool. We've seen it at Newcastle. We've seen it in Sevilla. I think in these positions, this is where United really bottle it. Um, and I hope I'm going to get it wrong. I really do. But... I don't think we've got the mentality players on the pitch. There's no Bruno. There's no Martinez. Um, there's no Ericsson. Um, even Anthony, I think, has got it. I just don't I don't think we've got enough mentality out there. It's their chance to prove us wrong. I hope they do. But I think Brighton 
I just hope I'm wrong. I really do. I really, really do. Um, but look, it's there. It's possible. You've got to, you've got to believe. And the players have got to believe. Unfortunately, we're not taking the penalties. I wish we bloody were, but uh, <sighs> let's just wait and see. The future is yet to be written. Let me just say a big shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring the stream today, by the way. We're just waiting for these penalties to happen. Uh, but in the link in the video description for Manscaped, 20% um, off and free worldwide shipping. Get your lawnmower 4.0. Trim the grass to make the yard look bigger. Fantastic product. Big shout out to Manscaped. Um, and you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code United Stand. Who will be the penalty takers for Manchester United? That's going to be the interesting thing. I'm going to take a guess. I Obviously Rashford. I think Delo will take one. I think Casemiro will take one. I think Sabitzer will take one, and I think Sancho will take one. And is that five? We bottle it when the pressure's on. Penalty heartache, says Bobby. We will miss Maguire on penalties. Mark, you know, he actually can take a penalty. We lost seven. Oh, Fred's captain. We lost seven out of the last eight penalty shootouts, says Rizzy. We've lost seven of our last eight shootouts, says Jordan Brown. It's not looking good, bruv. And Man United last shootout win was 2019 versus Rochdale, and Sanchez was in goals. For them, he was on loan. Let's... Let history repeat itself, says Cameron. <sighs> um, oh, no, De Gea's captain now, not Fred. Fred was just stood with him. Bruno's having a word with De Gea. I think we're doing it in front of the Brighton fans, aren't we? Shit, I never even thought of it like that. That can make a difference. I've got to stand up for this. I can't sit down. I'm sorry. In fact, I might move the chair. I might move the chair completely. I just, uh, I'll get down like this. On my knees. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees. <sighs> yeah, it's at the Brighton end as well. Um, I just want to say before this game's over and it gets really emotional because it'll be horrible to go out and it'll be ecstatic to win. I just want to say I probably won't be as logical in the match reaction. So I just want to make it very, very clear that before I lose my head, Lindelof, Luke Shaw, Delo, Wambasaka, De Gea. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Pick that five for the rest of the season. They were so good today. It's so hard to keep um it's so hard to keep a clean sheet against that bright that, that Brighton side. And um They've done absolutely fantastic today. So I just want to give them a big shout out because I, I think that might get forgotten no matter what happens. But the back five were great. So it's Alexi McAllister against David De Gea, who looks so small in the goal. David De Gea, doesn't he? Um, not got a great record at penalties either. McAllister goes first and he scores it. Look how big Sanchez will look in this goal as well. He looks bloody massive. They always do. But look, you know what? Saving the penalties is part of the thing. Scoring the penalties, well, you know, De Gea doesn't, De Gea's not in goal for the penalties that we take. Mark says whoever misses is not going to be very popular. Here's Casemiro. He took a very good penalty for Brazil in the World Cup, didn't he? Took a very good penalty here as well. 1-1. One, one. Come on. Come on, Casemiro. 1-1. One, one. Nice and calm. Loves the game. Loves the game. He loves the game, Casemiro. De Gea. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. got to get a, get a save in get a save in first that's what it's all about isn't there something about wasn't there some stat in the world cup about the team that goes first saves it or something like that. of course i'm bloody nervous you've got to be nervous you've got to be nervous 
Come on. March. Is it March? Oh, you know, I thought he was going to bloody save that. He's gone the right way. David, David necess doesn't necessarily have to save it. They have to miss, says Liv. Good penalty. Good penalty. I've, I've always give you a tip on penalties, and I've, I've been told this by goalkeepers and everybody. It's dangerous, but if you go high in the corners, you can't save them. Keepers can't save them. It's a risk. Not many people do it. They go low. The low. Come on. Come on. Come on, the low. There's not been a penalty savable yet. Come on. Come on, then. Take a breath. Take a breath. Don't be be a hero. Don't be a zero. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Right in the bottom corner. And Sanchez went the right way. That's a cracker. That's a cracker. I'm taking the knee now. That was absolute cracker. It's hurting my knees. Why aren't they showing the replays of the penalties? Boo. Boo. Get rid of Daddy Murphy and get rid of the bloody producer. They won't show. They're not showing the penalties again. We haven't seen a replay yet. That's poor. The consumer is always right. We're not getting replays of the fucking penalties in the in, in UK. That's a bullshit. That's a load of bullshit. The, the camera angle's rubbish. Here we go. De Gea. I can't see who it is for them. Undav. Oh, he's gone the right way again. Cutbacks at the BBC. They can't get a camera behind the goal. Bullshit. Perfect penalty so far. Please subscribe to the channel, by the way, if you're watching. Bottom right-hand corner to do it. Oh. Sancho steps up and instantly you've got a bad feeling, haven't you? It's about confidence. It's about the way you're perceived. This has got to go in, Jaden. These moments are big in your career. Get in! Get in! Mr. Pink Boots! Get in there, mate! Get in! 3-3. Three, three. <sighs> How does football do this to you? How does it do this? I'm there in extra time and I'm going, it's not going to pull me in. I'm not going to get pulled in. I'm not going to get pulled in. You know what I'm looking at? De Gea is looking at something about where to go with penalties. Is anyone keeping an eye on Sanchez? Because he might be telling him what he's been told. Is Sanchez looking at De Gea's bottle? Keep an eye on him. Well, we can't because the camera angles are rubbish. <sighs> Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Oh, he sent him the wrong way. Every penalty's been good. Every penalty's been good. I don't think... Oh. It's 4 all. Uh, well, it's not. It's 4-3. Uh, Rashford's coming up. Oh, come on, Marcus. Mentality. Come on, boy. Come on. This is the one we expect to score. This is the big player. Oh, get in. Get in. I'm clapping like a seal. Two, four, four. You can't argue with the quality of the penalties. You can't. I don't think either keeper, regardless of what you think about them, I don't think either keeper has had a chance on any yet. Lewis Dunk is just going to smack it. He's going to smack it, Dave. Down the middle. He's going down the middle. He ain't placing it. I'd stay at home. Because you're not going to... If he puts it in the top corner, you can't save it anyway. Stay at home. Stay at home. He's going to blast this. <sighs> stay at home, Dave. Stay at home. I'm telling you. No, bottom corner. Fucking hell. 
We've lost seven of our eight last penalty shootouts, by the way. This is it. If we miss, we're out. Sabitza. Five, well, nine penalties have gone in. Imagine the, right, imagine the nerves here. We need, we need Ben Foster. <laughs> Come on, Sabitza. Oh, did he get a hand on it? I don't know because they won't show us the fucking replay, but it's in for Sabitza. It's 5-5. Five, five. I think Sanchez gets a hand on this, but we don't get the replay. And it doesn't matter because it's gone in anyway. But that was close. It was very close. <sighs> I can't speak. I can't speak. The other centre back steps up. Somebody's somebody's got to go down the middle at some point. You see, you can't stand still all the time. You look at Pratt, don't you? Webster for Brighton. David De Gea. Sent him wrong way again. Fucking hell. Not, he's not got near any of these, has he? Whoever's, whoever's advising him on the penalties is, is just stupid. I wouldn't look at... I wouldn't, whatever bit of paper De Gea's got, I wouldn't look at it. Just go on instinct because it's been wrong on the last three. Oh, God. Now I'm panicking. We're going out of the FA Cup. Now I'm panicking. It's Vegost. I don't know whether he's got the power to reach the goal. <sighs> Come on, mate. Please. Please. Yes! Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in! <sighs> Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Veghorst. 6-6. Six, six. This penalty shootout is incredible absolutely incredible we've got the match reaction straight after this the player ratings is it going to be penalty joy or penalty heartache we don't know we don't know what the reaction's going to be make sure you subscribe bottom right hand corner get involved with the united stand i was in doubt it's a you know when i said never in doubt i was being sarcastic go with me could be could be like could be Villarreal all over again. Could be the goalkeeper missing the penalty. Brighton. Yes! Brighton! He's missed it! He's bloody missed it! March on! He's missed it! Oh, I feel sorry for him. But I don't. I do not feel sorry for him. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Dave put him in. Dave put him off. He put him off. Bruno's hugging. Come on, who's coming up next? Who's coming up next? Fred, is it Fred? Is it Luke Shaw? I think De Gea would have saved that one. He went the right way anyway. He was actually the right way. Lindelof, mate, you're man of the match if you score this. You're my man of the match anyway. Come on. Yes, get in! Iceman, Victor Lindelof, man of the match. We're going to Wembley. Get in, Manchester United, Manchester United, two, well, get in, there we go, we are the uh, Manchester United and we're going to Wembley, Wembley, come on City, we're coming for you, Manchester United, Victor Lindelof, have it, have that, get in, get in, get in, we've won on penalties, we've won on penalties, Oh, I love penalties. I love penalty shootouts. Get in. Oh, the beautiful game. The beautiful game. We're going to Wembley. FA Cup final. Manchester United. We've had to battle to do it. But we will have a chance to not only win silverware, if they're, if they're going to do it, they're going to have to beat United. If they want our treble, they're going to have to beat us. We will be there as one of the barriers. Manchester United 
on penalties. Get in. Absolutely incredible. What? What drama? What a game. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, oh, just Lindelof. 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 Lind Lindelof, the penalty king. That's what I'm going to call him. He was my man of the match anyway. But he is more than that now. He is the legend of the team today. Um, Jesse Marsh crying. No one wants to see that, apart from United fans. Well, we do. Come on. I mean, I, I, it's, it's sad, but uh, ultimately, there has to be a winner. There has to be a loser. Um, and the winner is Manchester United. Oh, God. It takes it out of you. It takes it out of you, doesn't it? I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't breathe. I feel like I'm having an asthma attack. Get me my inhaler. Oh, oh I can't. I can't breathe. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I did not think... I really didn't think we were going to do it. Not on penalties. I didn't fancy us. And sometimes maybe lowering the expectations is a good idea. Because I didn't fancy us. I really didn't. But uh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to get on to the match reaction. Loads to talk about. I'll see you over there in a minute. Get your player ratings in. Link's in the video description. And it's in the video description for the match reaction. Let's get over there. We're going to Wembley. Thanks for watching. See you on the match reaction.